<laughs> Just keep going deeper and deeper and deeper. Oh. Oh. What's in here? It's another episode of High Rollers D&D. <laughs> oh. With me, Dungeon Master. It's right Boston. in the box. <laughs> Put it away. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to another episode of High Rollers D&D. With me, your Dungeon Master, Mark Shelley Humes. It, it feels like I'm listening to him at point zero point five. Playback speed. I know. <laughs> yes, Chris, try. Welcome to the right rollers. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. I'm pepped up. We're ready to go. Uh, I'm joined by my usual people. We got Ree. I'm a we got usual Trot, person. We got Kim. And on the other side, we got Tom. We got Katie. We got everyone here. The gang's all here. Full uh, stack. And we're Kim's ready to back. Go. Kim's back. Ready. I didn't get Ree's that when married. I came back. You didn't. You didn't do it. We you didn't, didn't do it. No, Katie's Katie's back. Back. Little Katie's we back. Did we didn't do a big Katie's did back. Did we did a little Katie's back. I think it's because it was so disrupted and we were all back because we'd all take it. Anyway. <laughs> hey, welcome, friends. Uh, a couple of things that we need to go into before we get through to today's DD. I thought there was a burp coming out. <laughs> <laughs> what a pro. Didn't happen. First things first, oh boy, what's everyone wearing? Whoa. Oh, oh, a variety clothes. of merchandise. Brilliant new clothes. Wow. What's this? Oh, a long sleeve wow. Christmas jumper. What? Oh, a t shirt. What's on the That's other so side? Wow. Is that a hoodie and another t shirt? It is. And many other things. And what's that, Chris Trot, that you I see, I see you opening there? Another, a scroll. Another oh, he Scroll in the dungeon. <laughs> 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 the, blessing is here. the blessing is here. And then, and then also and the tank card. The tank kids. And tank kids. Oh, yeah. We've got so much new cheers. stuff, guys. Nice. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. And cheers. also, cheers. as an added no, bonus. I said cheers. As, <laughs> Katie. as an added bonus, there is also a flash sale. <gasps> on High Rollers Club t shirts. Flash. So we thought, uh, since you might well, want to buy. This one. That, that one. That one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Merch within merch within merch. That one. Basically, we thought, since we're releasing all of this stuff today, right now. What's now? now? Right now. Right now. It's on freshstore.co. Um, and we thought that if you want to save on shipping, maybe you'd also like to pick up the High Rollers Club tea. So that is on flash sale with all of our new products right now. Rub it. Yep. So go and go and brand new collection. You can do this too. You can do that too. You can <laughs> rub your hoodie. Rub it your emblem. Top. Wear these great oh. shirts. Uh, this kind of wood print design style, this is kind of like our new collection. It's going to be around for a while. The the High Rolls Club t-shirt, when that's gone, that's gone. That's so like gone. This, flash, this flash sale might be your last time to get it. It's the hottest new t-shirt around. You've seen everybody wearing it. I was at Comic-Con, everybody was wearing the High yeah. Rolls Club t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. like, everybody was wearing a it. A lot of knockoffs. Well, guys yeah. with like black wigs and denim jackets. I didn't really know what that was yeah. about. Like, three. Oh, they would cosplay oh, three! three. <laughs> oh, Oh, but yeah. Oh, there's a lot of knockoffs out there, so make sure yeah. you're getting it from the Fresh Store. Freshmerch.co. Mm. Freshstore.co. 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 Down in Kokomo. Uh, that's it. So go to the Fresh Merch store, pick up your brand new collection, get the High Rolls Club t shirt on the flash sale. You've got the Christmas jumper ahead of the Christmas period. It's coming soon. It's Christmas. It's not yet. It's not Christmas. 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 Uh, it's kind of like, yeah, I, I, it's be, I can't say why, but I'm going to be there. I'm doing a cool thing, very cool thing. If you follow some other stuff that I do, you might be able to work, figure it out. Uh, but I'll be there. I'll be wandering around the show floor. We don't get to out to the US very often. No. So if you'd like to come and say hi. He's burping. That's just coming. Uh, if you'd like to come and say hi, I will be wandering around the show floor doing a cool thing at PAX Unplugged. So Why didn't you invite us? Because this ain't got shit to do with you, kid. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking all right. I thought you were baby. I thought your whole life revolves around high rollers. Uh, you have a special place in my heart, but ultimately not as big as myself. Get uh, fucked. <laughs> get fucked. Uh, and 
And that is, oh, oh one last thing. What? Uh, hey. No. You might have thought, because last week I said it was going to be only a two-hour episode this week. <laughs> oh, Idiot. Oh, gotcha. Oh, that's right, Tom. Got we gotcha. Pranked. pranked. Get pranked. Get Bro. pranked. April Fools. <laughs> because it's going to be a normal episode today. Oh. And that means we're going to play the Dun Duns right now. Oh. Wow. Welcome back to High Rollers of Rois. <gasps> you always forget. Did you forget the name of the show? <laughs> Where we were. <laughs> Unlike you, Thomas Hazel, I don't forget important things. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Shot fired. Nice. Welcome back. Last time on High Rollers of Rois, our party have travelled to the Ganassi city of Vortensar. Once long ago, it was transported to Arois by accident, swapping places with an ancient elven city called Jasafir. Since then, the Ganassi have always been slightly separated from the rest of the world. Now, those feelings have been cultivated and matured by Shansara and Harmony, the leader of Vortensar, to instill this anti-Erosian feeling and to celebrate their upcoming return to their home plane of Ganass, the elemental world. However, the party, our champions, know that this endeavor is doomed to fail and will result in devastating consequences. So they've snuck into the city in disguise and using all of their espionage skills, they've made their way inside <laughs> with, uh, with disguises and cover stories in place. And they have made their way to a place called Coal Smoke Street, where they were given a cryptic message on how to reach a group called the Seekers, who are working with Norfear, an old ally of theirs, and Lucius's babyhood nanny. Babyhood? Childhood nanny. <laughs> <laughs> babyhood. 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 Uh, that makes sense. Baby. They successfully entered said safe house, avoiding the patrolling Valkyrian guards and Ganassi forces, and they have made their way into the Seeker's safe house, or at least one of them, uh, from what you know. And that, my friends, is where we begin today, unless there is something you would like me to mention that I have forgotten, or some such. Coolest uh, members of High Rollers, best to worst, go. Yeah. Myself. Don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Wow. Best. Taking a lift, a little leaf out of Chris Trott's book. Taking a lift out of Chris Trott's book. Nice. Right. Elevator. Anyway, uh, member. <laughs> let's get to the game. <laughs> right there. <laughs> you all sort of made your way independently into this safe house, uh, having kind of given the passphrase to a restaurant, uh, a restaurant leader, a chef, uh, whose son, Fuego, uh, sort of led you down into the basement and revealed a secret passage, as well as a large, bulky earth ganassi called Goliath. Um, and uh, you have all independently made your way down in your various disguises. You follow the passage individually. I think it was uh, Lucius was first, yeah. um, then Ayla, That's then, uh, yes, uh, Re uh, Sentry and Nova, then Quill eventually. So yep. Lucius, you're the first one to arrive. Um, this safe house is little more than a sort of carved out stone chamber room, perfectly sculpted, like it's been magically created deep in the earth. Uh, it has a few tables, a few chairs. You can see basic kind of cooking supplies, food stores, really not much else though. It's almost um, barren uh, to an extent. Um, like our secret. Hideout. Very much like your yeah. secret hideout, yes, back in Gusthaven. Uh, waiting for you <laughs> oh, yeah. is a... Uh, as you arrive, a young water Ganassi uh, woman, probably no older than sort of 17, 18. She looks quite young, like a student. Um, she's wearing uh, almost like a leather apron, um, and you can see uh, that she has a bag with pungent smelling herbs and bandages and things like that at the ready. Um, and she seems surprised to see you, um, 
but uh, to speed it up and get you all together, she introduces herself as Stream, um, and she is basically, she works with Fuego and Goliath, and the three of them are members of the Seekers. Um, eventually, you all arrive, uh, and after, and yeah, yeah, well, I'll throw it over to you guys as, as you all sort of reconvene together. Uh, Stream nervously introduces herself to all of you. Uh, oh, uh, yes, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I'm guessing if you're here, I didn't hear Goliath fighting you, so I think you're meant to be here, but um, welcome. Um, you can take a seat if you like. I, I can get you some food or, or <coughs> water or something, or... I don't uh, really know who you are. Oh, uh, I, well, I mean, uh, I think we all had some food up there, to be honest. Um, Whoa, mm -hmm. um, what happened to your voice, Wisp? <coughs> he doesn't remember what his voice is. <laughs> he doesn't even know where he is right now. Stream just looks confused. Like I think he needs some water. Okay. Yes, oh, I'm so... There it is. Hard. Oh. <clears throat> A moment of clarity. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, I, I, I mean, if you're not meant to be here, there's not really much I can do about it because you've passed Fuego yes. and Goliath. So just don't hurt me. We've if, passed if you're, the checks. Don't worry. Uh, you're not. You're not with the. the no, no. Okay. We're part of the rebellion. Okay. okay. All right. Well. The I'll, seekers. Yes. 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 Uh, all right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll. And she sort of shuffles off without finishing <laughs> the sentence. Uh, just a quick, oh, oh, just yeah, a quick yes. one. Are you the only one here? In, in the safe house right in now. The safe house right well, now. Goliath's down the tunnel, but I, yeah. I'm the only one here. Yes. No one else. N not as far no as No one I'm... coming. I that. So you're here on your own. I, Fuego and uh, Fuego normally handles that. I, I think that. It, are you are you meant to meet someone else? I think else? we're meant to be meeting someone here. Okay, well, it, Fuego will probably contact the others. Nanny, I, I, is I, that you? Who? It's a really good disguise. If what? so, uh, fair play. I was fooled for a second there. Well done, stream. I, no, I'm Very not. Very genetic. Yeah, I, I know I'm not no, who you think no, I am. No, no. It's Lucius! No! No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> She just looks utterly confused. Um, Nova, you would recognize this girl, like, based on her age um, and the way that she's dressed and things that she has on her, you probably would quite quickly realize she's probably a medical student at the Atlas Academy. Like, she probably was a yeah. medical student. Um, and she just looks utterly bewildered. So I'm gonna go make a. Yeah, Azuri, I think thing. you have it wrong. Hmm? Oh, so I was playing a new character. <laughs> uh -huh. He's like she this all the time. She sleeps. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, sure. There's like a little side room. She, you can still see her. It's like a little alcove, and there's like a little. Um, it's not even like a, a, a heater. It's like um, it looks to be like maybe a piece of Valkyrie Magitek, like a, a smokeless heater. Um, and she's got like that arranged, and she's got a pitcher of water, and she starts pouring out some glasses. Um, kind of busying herself and does not want to interact with any mm. of you. It's like yeah. I'm trying to find other things to do so she doesn't have to talk to you. So in a kind of like stage, like whisper, but stage wish, mm -hmm. wish, whisper. So she can hear. Um, no, no, no. Stage whisper for the audience. Right. Our audience. Okay. So, okay. so it's not like I'm like. OC stage whisper. I see whispering. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Um, so to, to Lucia just be like, N no, you you have it wrong. That is a legit. That is stream. I know her. She's I know a my nanny, and she's very good with disguises. That's all I'm saying. I grew up with her. She's a medical student at Atlas Academy. Wow, Nanny Nofe is really good. I forget to use my old man voice for three seconds, mm. and you introduce yourself as Lucius to You've the first person. You again. can't, it's because we're whispering. We, you oh. can't lose your cover until we meet Norfair yeah, or my warm brother. The Heidi house. No, we don't know if there's like okay. compromise. If any of them have been compromised. Oh, you're right. Could be compromised. They might be double agents. Sorry, yes, I messed up. Spark. Um, Nope. Who's Spark? Nope. That's no, Spark. It's, it's, this one's Spark. This one. The flamey right. one. Yeah. Yes. Wisp. Yes. Julien. Spoon. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys know, you are left in this space maybe a good 20, 30 minutes. Like, nobody comes to check on you. Stream is, like, running out of plates to clean and things like that. Um... Is there, do you guys do anything in those 30 minutes? Like, you are, like, at least 30 minutes. Like, I'm gonna, you know, if there's anything you want to do, because it's a fair chunk of time, right. this is it's, it's... letting you know that you're you're just waiting around. Yeah. Like, Anxiety is building within There may be scrying devices here as well, like listening devices. So be careful. Are there any other exits? Is there any one way in, one way out? It's, from what you've seen, it's one way in, one way out. You can make an investigation check if you want to, like, pat the walls yeah. or, like, yeah. or if you don't want to, like, 
you can. I'll give you a choice. It's either investigation if you're like doing things like knocking on the walls and like testing the walls. It's perception if you're like looking around and just trying to see if there's like cracks. Perception is harder. Whereas like, because if you get physical, like you can figure out things. Yeah, I'm gonna physically tap on the. All right, investigation check. I've got a minus one on my investigation, so it's a five. A five. (laughs) You kind of go around. Sounds like stone. (laughs) Sounds like stone. (laughs) Sounds like stone. As far as you can tell, Sentry, there's yeah, this is one way in, one way out. Seems solid. Perimeter check. I think we're clear. We're good. Thank you, Quill. Craig. Oh, you're it's okay. burgeoning perception. Right. Oh, yeah, I was going to do a uh, um, detect. Who? Uh, Weird. 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 Can you can you hear those guards? Did they did they come to the door or anything? Can you hear you that? You are noise? you are definitely too deep underground to hear anything else. This is like level. soundproof. Quill. Yeah, it's very <laughs> it's very soundproof. Oh. Yeah. Um, Quill was the last one. You did notice that the, the the restaurant that you've gone into, the Spicy Rabbit, you know, would have been the last one they checked. Yeah. Um, they would have probably been there, like, either now. now or by now. Like, they're either talking to them right now or they've already come and gone. And there's no... Because uh, there's Goliath outside the door. Yeah, inside the inside kind of secret entrance, corridor. yeah. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. what, what are they doing this entire time? Do you want you, You'd have to go back there. It's like a little corridor oh, right. that leads down. Like, you'd have to walk down there because it's all dark. Uh, I think I know what's happened. Especially because you don't have dark vision, do you? So, uh, I could go down and... Do you want to go yeah, you, you, just, like, you literally just walk, like, ten feet down. You can <laughs> clearly see. Um, yeah, Goliath is stood there, just waiting <coughs> by the door. Stop. No change. It's like, mm. do you no know problem. <laughs> is there anyone else uh, coming here? We were supposed to meet someone. Oh, you've got to talk to Fuego about that. How often does Fuego come back and forward? He'll, come, he'll come back. He's dealing with something in a minute. I think I know what's Is that the, the people who were checking? Right. Yeah, okay. Goliath nods at you. He's like, well, I don't know. I can't hear, but I suspect so. Okay. If what you said, if you said that there was people coming down, then there's, he's probably dealing with them. I'll go back and tell the guys that. that... Lucius is like, can I do an insight check to see mm. if Goliath is in any north here? Uh, so you would go, so Ayla comes back, tells everybody about that, and then you would go down the corridor and like start looking at him. Yeah, insight check. Any like, like Larry B- mannerism. Uh, this would be down. investigation, actually. It wouldn't be inside. I'm gonna, mm-hmm. I'm gonna come back into the room, see Lucius walking back towards Goliath, and just do an immediate U-turn and keep going with him because he's probably gonna get himself <laughs> clubbed in the head. Yeah. <laughs> and you want to see that? And I want to see that. Yeah, sure. Maybe stop what it do we get? after maybe one or two hits. Lucius, you know? six. Six. Yeah. I mean, what's what's the investigation look like? Like, is this you just kind of like peering? Are you like I'm prodding looking, him? Um, no, 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 prodding. This isn't the right character. Oh, yeah. Wait, who are you He's playing? playing a completely different character. Who is that? He's really in disguise. Hey, is that uh, his not my first D&D today? <laughs> oh, that was his other I was D&D like, character. that was a completely different Probably character. Probably want to load up Lucius there, my dude. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Oh, even better. <laughs> like, so you're not prodding him, you're not like doing, you're just sort of like peering and like I'm examining. looking for mannerisms, body language, like oh, okay. any, case, moments, any moments of like where the Goliath act is dropped and Nanny Norfolk comes oh, through. The in the... Act. Sort of 20 seconds you're staring at him, he barely seems to move like an immovable rock. Like he doesn't, you don't even think you can see him breathing. Uh, He's just good there, arms folded, kind of resting on this heavy iron baseball bat club, and he just looks at you, utterly bored with absolute contempt. Ah, Damn, you're good enough here. I walk walk back. He just looks, nods. I think I know what's happened here. Okay, okay, please. Nanny North is really good. Sure. We've established that, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. I feel like she's been tipped off that she's under investigation and she's had to divert somewhere else other than here. Right. Right. (coughs) Quill, you hear the sound of stone coming back from that tunnel where Goliath is. You hear like the... And then you hear footsteps coming down this way. Okay, well, someone's coming down. Probably Fuego. Probably Fuego. Azuri, could I make a quick suggestion? Yes. You hear two Stop sets of footsteps them nanny. coming down. Two people. Just for now. Just no fear. You don't want to give yourself away. Just cool. Goliath and Fuego enter this sort of stone chamber. Um, the Goliath just takes a position by that tunnel entrance, just again leans against the wall, folds his hands, uh, this, like leaning on the club, same as he was before. But Fuego kind of like holds his hands up. You can see he's kind of got that cocky swaggeriness that you saw when he came down. He's very much like a kind of very punky fire ganassi, right? He's kind of got like a short cropped le- like studded leather jacket. He's wearing like the tight sort of like leather pants. He's kind of got like an open low V-neck shirt that shows off his like, you know, reddish skin. Um, very like spiked up fiery hair. Uh, if you've I mentioned it before, but if you've watched the new Cyberpunk Edge Runners, yeah. he looks a lot like the main character David. Um, Insight. 
Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Insight check. Six. Six. Uh, could be. She's damn good. Very good. Uh, he kind of like walks in. He's like, oh, hey, so sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, we had to deal with those um, people you mentioned, uh, the customers that were just after you guys. Oh, uh, well, They're gone. Don't worry about it. I got rid of them. Wonderful. Nice. Uh, well, we are very much looking forward to the meal. Oh, you actually want food? What? No. You know, there's no such thing as Sky Elf style, right? Oh. I thought so. But I can, we can bring you food down. Like, it's probably safer if we just have Stream make you something here. Uh, that's Speaking that's safer. Speaking in code riddles. Right. Okay. The meal being oh my God. the reason they're, we're here. They're and trying that, yeah. to be real cool uh, yeah. right now, my dude. But um, <sighs> yeah. Anyone else on their way? Uh, so, who was it that mentioned Norfit? You mentioned Norfit. I described her, but I didn't. You described her. Say her name. The the elf lady that you mentioned. Her name's Norfit. I remember she gave us all all the safe houses received a message saying if a bunch of weirdos arrive and <clears throat> ask for this dish. Okay, so to let her know some weirdos to arrive. That to basically let her know that her guests Lucia had arrived, crying. right? Yeah. I'm assuming you guys are. Yeah, her we're guests. the weirdos. Yeah. 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 Figured. Yeah. Uh, I've sent word to her. Uh, it's going to take time. Uh, the word has to reach her, and then she has to make her way here. Uh, so it's going to take a couple of hours. Uh, you're more than welcome to stay here. We can get you some food, um, but it's going to be a couple of hours before she can get here. Is the actual wording weirdos. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, that checks out. Yeah. Uh, well. It's okay. Something like strange individuals, which is basically weirdos to me. Yeah. Uh, 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 w yeah. We're given uh, these. Um... You sound a lot younger now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> well, he's just had his meds. He like actually looks at you for the first time now. He like walks over to you. It's like checking you out. Like something weird about you, man. That's what you, look... you stink too much. He has, he has an illness. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? Well, yeah, you're in my safe house. This is like, I'm in charge of this. I'm going to make sure you're right. And he reaches out to grab you. Uh, well, uh, uh, fine, whatever. Like, uh, I'm in do, disguise. Do, do you resist him or are you just going to like let him grab you? I'm in, disgu I, I'm in disguise. I'm like clearly in disguise. Yeah, well, well he kind of is like... <laughs> That's what I say to him. <laughs> okay, he's like, not really, no. I wouldn't have pegged you until you started speaking like you Amazing. were 25 years younger. We're 25? And he, his hand passes Try through... Try 57 years younger. That like wispy <laughs> hair of yours. <laughs> And he like he like it passes through. Wait, the you're air. playing a sixty-year-old. And when he try comes, <laughs> seventy-seven years younger, <laughs> you feel like a feather pluck out, and he like he's Ow. like, whoa, yeah, what? okay, yeah. So I'm. Yeah, there's a whole what thing. What are you on. guys? We don't want to. The thing weirdos. is, mm. weirdos, but also it's better if you don't actually know what we look like. That's actually yeah. North this. talks about that a lot. I mean, it kind of goes to saying what I am. Uh, stream, what does she call it? Compartmentalizing information so that we don't give each other away. Yeah, what she said. That, uh, yeah. All right. Exactly. Cool. Uh, yeah, sounds like something well, Lord Fear would say. He's three. I'm, yeah, I, again. You're like a bird man. Exactly. I've heard about yeah. you. Oh, yeah. stop giving more so details. That's, uh, that is compartmentalizing. I just said he's three. Cool. You're a bird man. Uh, yeah, he could I be am, a baby. Uh, listen, we, we need to. Lock that down. What? Okay. That information doesn't go further than this room. Yeah? What are you going to do about it? If Punch I did... you in the face. Oh, really? He's yes. like, okay, cool, hit me. <laughs> what is happening? He's like, Honestly, no, he, I'd like he, to he, like, that. turns around and he says, like, Goliath, don't do it to him. If he does hit me, don't do anything. Uh, listen, and Goliath's listen, like, we, you see been, the muscles have, like, tightened up. We've been through a lot to, to, to create these illusions so that we can get through the checkpoint. Yeah. If you understand. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. So it's we cool. Would very I wish I had something it. like that. Well, North well, well, we would very much appreciate take... you not telling people about this. Look, you guys are you guys are working with the seekers, right? I'm a seeker. Like you're working with me, so we're friends. We're allies, right? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cause you any trouble. Like I want to work with you. Like, Which is why it's probably good if that you don't know anything else about us, because if you did, okay, a lot of people would maybe not like okay. that. Sure, but. sure. If you guys want to play it cool, play it cool. Uh, you know, you know a little bit yeah. about me, but sure, whatever. Uh, make yourselves comfortable. Um, we're gonna be chilling out here with you. This is our safe house. Uh, this is my squad. You met Stream, I take it. She doesn't talk much. She's quiet. She's kind of nerdy. Um, she's pretty smart. She patches you up good. If you get hit, we're beaten up. Uh, Goliath, don't don't fuck with him. He'll beat you up. I'm not planning to. No. Good. Um, but I did want to mention we have these envelopes they gave us as we went through the checkpoint. 
has this magic on it that yeah. keeps track the of The seals, us. right? Yeah, is there anything we can do about these, or...? Uh, you can get rid of them, but then if you get stopped in the street, you might get in trouble. Um, it's pretty much a problem. The, I mean, stream, how do those things work again? And he kind of, like, scratches his head, and the little water ganassi kind of sticks her head out. Well, I'm not a mage, Fuego. I, 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 when, they, when they explained it to me, it's like, when you go to certain parts of the city or certain places, it, like... Oh, what is it? It, it? it sort of, it like, it paints a mark on you or on the, the thing and it registers where you've been. But it, it only really matters if, if you're going to certain places. Uh, there's not really any around here. Coal Smoke isn't uh, an, an important district. Um, okay. There may be one in sort of like when you first came into this district, but you could easily leave and not ping it again. So they don't tend to check that kind of stuff around here. Oh, if you start going into some of the more higher value areas or like you go up to the upper parts of the city or you go to any sort of important buildings they all have these checks these valkyrian things now these machines um, and do these uh, uh allow us if we had say guard ones for example would they allow us into different areas uh guards it's only people that have only been coming into the city recently have had those right. uh most of the guards people like me that have lived here all our lives we don't have them um okay so we're kind of just assumed to be chill a lot of people know us uh mm. guards don't tend to carry them though like if you if you can i don't know if you can use this cool thing you're doing to disguise yourselves as guards you probably go a lot of places probably not everywhere but you could go a lot of places you disguise okay. yourself as some of the valkyrian guys the guys in the space armor or whatever then yeah you're pretty golden you can go anywhere okay but uh trying but to get they hold have of their, their own is... idea thing going on they're quite advanced so. oh right yeah well, i mean i don't know i don't know how any of this stuff works like i got this thing and he kind of shows off the magitech and he's like super cool oh yep yep very cool yeah, yeah, yeah careful awesome. you're pointing that oh yeah don't worry i'm cool i, I got my finger on the side like norfear <laughs> told me that and he puts it in his like pants like he puts it in his like his waistband <laughs> okay. he's like how uh, long did it take for you to learn that it's not hard. Oh, I just mean... Point, pull the little thing. Don't make... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is air, I'm not holding it, I put it here. <laughs> like, how long did he have it before he realised trigger discipline? Uh, no, an hour. Says oh, the man okay. who couldn't shoot a stained glass window. That's as safe as it gets. Wow. He needs to respect gun, because... Gun shot, yeah. eye out. Yeah. Gun shot, <laughs> eye And, Nor and Nor That's what Norfit told me. She told me about this guy, actually, who had... It was a bird man! Oh. She told me about a bird man who had his whole face blown off. Now, sound what? insulating is your safe house. This place? Ah, it's solid. Like, nobody can hear us. Okay. What about magical scrying? Oh, I don't know about that. Okay, you don't know about it, okay. okay. Oh, mage? What do you think? I'm some nerd that went to Atlas, like, the stream? <coughs> <coughs> anyway. <Woo! laughs> anyway. Um... I mean, how, how long will we have to wait down here before? A couple of hours. A couple of hours, okay. okay a couple of hours. Uh, we also, I can find like some cards if you want to play games or we can tell you some stuff about the city. You got any questions? I can answer them. Stream well, might answer them. Well, I was going to say... Don't expect Goliath to answer him. He didn't talk much. I mean, if we did uh, lose these envelopes, then I guess if you guys don't have them, then worst case, we could pretend that we have always been in Vortensa and don't require them. Uh, yeah, the problem is, is you came in through the gate, right? So they took all your details down. Like, they've got mm. the description of you, they got your names. True. That Unless stuff we... all gets filtered around. Like, all the guards, all the space guys, they're going to know everything about whatever you told them at the gate, they're going to know that stuff. Unless we change our disguises. Hey, if you can do that, that's awesome. Yeah, 100%. Can these uh, be duplicated? Uh, good question to ask Norfear. Not really my kind of thing. We're, sure. we're kind of... This stream said it, like, Coal Smoke is kind of a low priority area. Mm. So we kind of just do low level stuff for the Seekers. Uh, we break some of those screens. We tear down posters. We occasionally, like, maybe try and bribe or beat up some of the propaganda folks. Uh, we, you know, steal stuff occasionally. Uh, you know, try and get, we talk to informants. We pass on information work with folks like you, people that are told to come and find us, and then we pass word up the chain of command, that kind of stuff. But, like, forging IDs? Like, yeah, that's a bit beyond our level, I'm afraid. Sure. What are some of your top-level guys doing? What What are they doing? I don't mm. know. They, they, what was what it again? Com Compartmentalising information? Yeah, that. They don't tell us, right. like, that kind of uh. stuff. Um, but I can, I can, you know, if you've got specific questions, I'll try and answer them. How, how do you feel about this whole returning to... Uh, what, the, the Ganass, whatever it's called, the yeah. plane? I don't care. Whatever. 
So what do you think of Shansara and all this, these videos and what Harmony's saying? She's pretty hot, but her music's okay. I don't really like the more sappy shit. Uh, kind of like the hard stuff. Um, there's some really good musicians I like around here. She did she did a collab with one of them. That was pretty cool. Like she was kind of like a more kind of hardcore vibe. I like that. Um, all of her guff about like I'm the shining star and all this shit. I don't give a fuck about that. Interesting. I'm just wondering why, you know, returning to Wharton, Sar. Majority of people seem to be buying into this, and yeah. you don't. Well, it's a load of horseshit. It? It's all mainstream. But why do you see through that? It's I don't see, I don't, what are you talking about? It's a bunch of people like this weirdo who came down and then all these space cops arrive and they start telling everybody what to do. Fuck that. Like, I'm not about that. To be fair, valid. Mm -hmm. if, if, if a space Fine, cop came. Fine, bro. Sure, yeah. Shh. If a space cop comes down and starts spouting like they, some they shit, act you know? all nice and like, yeah, sure, maybe in some of the nicer places and like with the richer people, they're all buddy buddy. But like, I've seen them beaten up kids in the alleyways and stuff like that. Like, there's, they're assholes. And uh, I don't like people telling me what to do. Respect is earned, not commanded. Yeah, sure, that. <laughs> uh, and also, it's kind of fun. I get to break stuff. Uh, I get to, like, fight people. I, think this is the I get to, like, sneak oh, around. How long have you been in the secrets? Okay. Probably two months, three months. Okay. And how old are so. you? How old? Uh, uh, you know what? It's actually <laughs> 20. I had to think. About 20. Yeah. Nova's just in her mind. She's just like, I remember when I set up the Seekers in my mum's basement. Yeah, and we a little were, club. It was a little club to talk about planar our magic. Yeah. Wait, the Seekers <laughs> is your thing? Yeah. But this is internally, and Nova's not saying that. Yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah I'm just yeah. saying this is on my head. And yeah, like, like this, this kid has clearly come in since the Valkyrians yeah, 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 have yeah. like taken, sort of like it's been like four months since yeah. this kind of was all being done in Vortensar. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's probably joined it like as that kind of kicked off and got like more embedded. Um, but yeah, you definitely, he's a punk. He's he's a punk yeah, kid. Like yeah. he he's just rebelling against this authority. He doesn't really Rage care about the, the actual message. Yeah, he's like raging against it. The other two, you're not sure. They, they're like, they haven't answered those questions, but Fuego is like super chatty. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He Fired loves up. talking. Like he's just like, yeah, yeah. So um, give yeah. us a little summary of the sure. vibe on the street. Depends where you go. Uh, you go to the upper city, it's all great. Like you go up to the top bits where all the rich folks live, they love it, it's having a great time. Concerts, charity balls, all that kind of crap. Uh, even some of the places down here, like you go to the plazas, a lot of people love all this shit. They love all the parades, they love the concerts, they love the music. Um, it's giving them something to believe in, right? Like this, we're gonna go home and Aroas doesn't want us here anymore. Like, like that should fucking matter. If Aroas doesn't want us here, who gives a shit? We're here. Uh, but in terms of like in other places, it's difficult. You get it kind of split, but I'd say most of the city is on board with what they're saying. The Seekers, we're like a minority. We're like nobodies at this point. We've got some good people and they're trying to do some good stuff. There's, man, Tornado, God, what a fucking hero, man. Like, God. Really? Yeah, dude. Tell us more about Tornado. Yeah. Dude, are you kidding? Like, yeah. he's the reason I joined. Like, I heard about what he did in the uh, protests, like the Atlas Academy protests. Fucking saved a bunch of people. Really? Yeah. Like, these these the students, right, they were, like, protesting something to do with all this Chansara Harmony garbage. And uh, there was a counter-protest, like, a bunch of, like, loyalists, like, the citizens who believe in all this kind of stuff. They started fighting with them. The, these space cops weren't doing anything. They were just kind of watching it and let it all happen. And this guy, this jouster, like, I've heard about him. He's apparently, like, a champ or something. He literally Jump jumps over a wall and he's like shouting and screaming. He gets everybody to back down. He like literally takes a punch for like one of these students, just takes it on the face and he calms everybody down and he gets all the kids out before they can get arrested. Guy's awesome. He sounds incredible. He's, yeah. a, he's a cool dude. He's spearheaded the entire operation as well, just. Yeah, he's like, the, he's the leader of the Seekers, man. Oh, I wonder if we can meet him. Mm. Yeah, well, well, I don't know, maybe. Like, this Norfear is, uh, I don't know much about her. Like, she, I met her a couple of times. She showed me how to do some fighting. She did, like, some, she did some, like, basic training, like, when we first set up the safe house. And uh, apparently she works with him really well. She's pretty badass, man. Like, she's pretty cool. Like, I don't know, you, you seem to know her, right? So have you met her before? You know her? Like she's a badass. Like You've run into her. She, even Goliath couldn't touch her. He was like she 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 let Goliath go full ham at her. He couldn't even land a hit. You just hear Goliath like, mm, I could have hit her. 
Full like, of ham? Yeah, okay, sure you could, big man. What is ham? Like, you know, like, all the meat. He brought all the meat. Oh. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> you brought all the meat. <laughs> all the meat. Yeah. Uh, all the muscle. So, I mean, it, uh, it, <laughs> are there other hideouts, other places? Oh, yeah, yeah. For? This is like a pretty small one. Like, you know, like I said, coal smoke's not a big deal, but they're scattered all over the city. Uh, I, I, he kind of like rummages around. I was going to ask if you have a map. That would be. Uh, wait, he kind of like rummages around and he pulls out. It's not really a map. It's like right. a piece of wood and he's like scratched like a rough circle and some other circles. Yeah. Is kind that of, that? Kind of like, kind of like, kind of like whiteboard there. Kind of like this. Yeah. This um, giant piece of wood. Okay. That's really shittily drawn. Oh, um, okay, oh, I well, I can kind of see where we are, yeah. Yeah, oh, so we're here. You are here. <laughs> uh, we're here, uh, and like, there's a bunch of, like, here's the districts. Right. You know, I can't, I'm not, I'm not some, I mean, like, you, map you, guy. If you wanted a map of Vortensar, I've literally got one on the 38 page pamphlet I gave you. I did not you read, read that pamphlet, pamphlet, right? I am gonna be honest with you, there might have been fire involved and it might have disintegrated. Fire bro. Stuff well, burns. I expected that of you, but Wisp, you're a scholar. Yeah, I didn't know there was a map though. You need to just. I didn't know I was. I like to imagine three pages <laughs> because Frame. Kim is trying to get a free map, and I have not got a better map. Uh, Nova's map is not much better than this one, but she. No, I, 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 <laughs> I wouldn't say it's like detailed, like coal smoke and stuff yeah. like that, but it is like the rough shape yeah, and the poise yeah, of, of course, the statue. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Absolutely. Like, yeah. 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 For sure. In her pamphlet yeah. that she lovingly hand copied um, five times. I, I like to imagine Sentry probably looked at it. Yeah. Yeah. Sentry uh, would have read it, it cover to cover. <laughs> I, I, I'm scanning. I'm sorry to say I never actually received mine. Did you give your copy, my copy, to Ayla? I handed it to you. You gave you it. Took Who's it. Ayla? <laughs> He's been waiting Someone, for that. Someone uh, back been waiting from for that. home. Uh, <laughs> I put it in. You're a really shit liar. <laughs> he really um, is. Yeah. Yeah. So you need some lessons from. How North did you then. even get in, my dude? I almost forgot my name, like I said, but. Ah, <sighs> uh, cool. Anyway, you guys want to play some cards or something? Sure. Sure. Stop yeah. him talking. Yeah. Anything. I'll talk for days. Oh, uh, please do. Tell us up more. Any so, other interesting things about the city? Okay. How often do people come here and investigate? Is any oh, like near misses? Stuff? Yeah. Yeah, so I think, to cut this short, because I don't want to waste too much time on this, um, Fuego will basically give you the rough overview. And yeah, like I said, Cold Smoke isn't a high priority area. He says that that was the first time they've actually come actively looking mm. for this place. Okay. Um, but he's pretty good, and like the locals all kind of know him and his mum, and they kind of all look out for each other. Like they'll they'll kind of like play each other off. Uh, for you guys' benefit, mechanically, this is what I'm going to call a, a secure area. So this is an area where the seekers have influence. This is one of very very few in the city. Um, for now, this is the only place you guys can really be feel relatively safe. That doesn't mean it's always going to be safe, but it's relatively secure. Sure. Um, during your conversation, in the two hours that you have to wait. Uh, Fuego and Goliath will actually teach you guys one thing, um, which is a way to improve your incognito score if it goes down. Oh, good. Um, okay. They tell you that basically... What was that, if it goes down? If it goes down. They basically taught you about how, uh, you know, the information about suspicious individuals gets spread around the city via the crystal screens, via loudspeakers, like magical speakers and things like that. Um, and if you spend time, you can disable them, you can make a check, you can disable them in an area, and that will help you improve your incognito score only up to this is mechanically only up to a certain point because once your identity's been revealed or if you've kind of been exposed in some way obviously it doesn't help even if you keep destroying stuff there is also a risk that if you fail on some of those capability checks you might end up in an encounter because people will see you breaking stuff and mm -hmm. sabotaging things and all that kind of good stuff um but they'll basically teach you like yeah like if you go around you can actually disable them by doing this they kind of like teach you the ins and outs of like very punk rough breaking of this stuff to sabotage it um it's not not very efficient but it's a way that you can do it and it's it takes time like you have to basically spend time segments to go into an area um, and it has to be an unsecure area as well that you do it in okay um all right and mechanically what sort of i mean i i, I guess we won't know what sort of it will that increase your incognito in terms of the, the 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 ability check you have to make yeah it will either be stealth sleight of hand athletics or arcana you have to make 
Okay. Um, and the more of you that do it, the better chance that you have of, of being successful. Sure. So okay, like, so it's not just an Aayla smash situation. No, yeah, you can find different ways to do things and stuff like that. Um, also, those are just four skills I'm putting down. If you come up with a creative way or if you have a spell where you're like, well, couldn't I use this spell to do it? Then we'll, we'll figure that out. Yeah, like, try and do that. <laughs> Um, but, oh, I would probably, over there. but what I would probably do is be like, rather than you making an attack roll, I'd be like, yeah, you're using Eldritch Blast, make an Arcana check, mm. and then that would represent you. Almost like a skill challenge, right? Yeah. Uh, after about two hours, oh boy. a piece of stone wall <laughs> Wait, opens up. I did a check. You did a check? Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm wrong! <laughs> We're doomed! <laughs> Three figures into this room. <laughs> The first is one you will recognize. A middle-aged half-elf woman. She is wearing a pretty tight leather catsuit with belts and gadgets and gizmos and hand crossbows and darts and daggers, looking like a primo fantasy assassin. <laughs> like female, like black widow, middle-aged half-elf, basically. Yeah. Nice. Um, except her hair is now all buzzed pretty short. Like she has it like cropped all at the back, kind of Captain Marvel style, kind of like front quiffed kind of thing. Um, you can see she has a, a lot of new scars like on her face and neck and on you know some of her hands and things like that. Looks like she's been you know in some fights and things like that. But she kind of enters, and she's grinning when she enters, and uh, before you kind of see the other two, she kind of like looks around, and give her advantage on this. And she actually is like, I'm impressed. I know who some of you are, but I certainly can't, uh, I wouldn't have picked you. And she immediately picks you out, Lucius, and comes over and just gives you a soft hug. I was already running. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you kind of like, she It's me, Lucius! <laughs> For anybody who knows you, it's not hard to figure out who you are, Lucius. It's good to see you. Um, good to see you. And she kind of like squeezes you, like a little, little tiny. You okay? Is everything uh, right here? Dagger kind of pokes into you. She's like, sorry, sorry. Uh, yes, let's let's let us let us let the others come through. Um, and she like looks and says, "Good to see you all again." I'm pretty sure I know who is who, but we'll figure it out. Um, uh, the next person who enters is you see a young. Um, this is a air and fire Ganassi, like a, a mixed lineage Ganassi. Um, lightning, almost. Like, rather than fire, their hair is almost like lightning that's kind of like coiling and sort of like crackling through their hair. Um, kind of, yeah, basically like fire bender who's mastered lightning bending. Yeah. Um, wearing sort of like red and blues. Um, they look probably about Nova's age. Um, spectacles, but they're tinted like sunglasses. Um, and they're wearing kind of loose clothing. Uh, you can see a Seeker badge. Um, and we Nova, have badges this, now. Nova, this is, well, these they, these badges were something you created. <laughs> this is where I get to make Kim and be like, ah. uh, This is actually somebody you know. This was one of the very first Seekers that joined you when it was just a little club investigating planar magic. Uh, their name is Bolt. Um, and they are basically a very talented mage who is obsessed with planar magic. Um, and they enter, and they sort of like, but they very quietly just kind of stand behind Norfear, don't engage, they don't seem to know who you guys are. And then another figure kind of emerges, yeah. like six foot tall, buff as fuck, broad shoulders with this almost Californian surfer wispy cloud hair. <laughs> Uh, you can see that they are wearing a uh, like a kind of blue leather jacket with a su uh, suit of chainmail underneath it. Um, they're wearing uh, like <laughs> they're wearing leather sort of trousers with knee pads, but the trousers stop just under the knee and is actually a pair of sandals uh, underneath it. Um, even though the rest of him is like actually armored like a warrior. Um, and you can see that slung on his back is a shield um, and what appears to be a hand lance, kind of similar to Starbreaker, but a kind of smaller version of it. Nice. Uh, and he enters and like looks around and he has this like statuesque, like no, he Herculean kind of vibe to him, <laughs> no, right? He doesn't. Like he like looks around, very regal, and like Fuego's like, it's him! And like he's like, whoa! He's like super excited. And like even Stream is like, oh my god, like kind of like cl like kind of places their hands together. And he looks around at you all, like, like nods. Um, and uh, North is like, well pretty good disguises, aren't they? He just sort of like nods his head. So? He's, he's looking around at all of you and he's kind of like looking at you all individually. He's like... No, maybe. I'm, I'm still hugging 
Nanny Norfear. Not no, no, you're too. Big. I mean, look at Kim's face right now. <laughs> I imagine that's Nova's face. face is like. <laughs> he has no idea. Right. Like he's like. Because he's a moron. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it takes him a second, and then Norfear kind of goes like, and gestures towards you, Nova, and like he kind of looks. He's like little Novi. <laughs> Over and he grabs you and bear hugs you and lifts you up. Uh, and, I hate you! Uh, it's like, oh! And he's crying. Like, he's Aww. like, he's Aww. like, like Aww. crying in his eyes. He's like, I missed you so much! I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, no, I hate you! you. I no, love you, you. I hey. missed you! Oh, I, I, are you bro now? Is, should I call you bro? Is this like a new thing? Are you doing? I you look, know, you look I, old, I, but uh, kind of cool, bro. Squeeze, me, squeeze. Oh, and he kind of like lets you go. And he puts you down. Like, hey, that beard makes you look really cool, bro. Yeah, it makes me look really smart, don't? It? Yeah. So, is this like a new thing? Should I even call you Nova anymore? Oh, yeah, uh, well, this is a disguise. We're, we're in disguise. Oh, this isn't like a permanent thing. N no, well, no, no, uh, no. Brova? Uh, maybe. Brova. This old man's super cool. He's so oh, smart. Man. Yeah. Uh, not, not old. Uh, actually, quite young, as it turns out. Uh, so ignore the smell. Uh, that's bad. not me. That's not actually me. You sound really young. But I look. But you look so old and gross. Well, Bro! <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, he's, and he comes is... over and he's like, this massive hand. He's like, okay. Tornado. Uh, nice to meet you, bro. Okay. <laughs> like, so, oh. I'll, we uh, have, uh, handshakes, uh, we high fives, uh, uh, fist bump. I'll give him a handshake, <laughs> but that's a lot. I'll handshake. give. It's like a fist bump. It's a fist bump. Yeah. I'll give him a handshake, but nice meet, I'll squeeze his hand a bit sure. so that he knows that. Um, make a make a I'm strength check. D twenty oh, plus strength. Uh, I got a natural twenty. No, oh, oh, you're not gonna beat oh, me that. Wait. I might do. Twenty. Yeah. So it's like the scene in Predator. <laughs> 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 oh, good grip, bro! <laughs> and he just is like, and he like releases, he's like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hi! I've, should we do the same? Can I give you a hug? I hug the rest of your family. Yeah, bro! Yeah! Like, it's lovely to meet you! Bro, hug! Yeah, bro, hug! Yeah, It's nice. so good to meet you! You met my mom and my yes. dad and my other sister? Yeah, they're amazing! Nice, bro! Hey, Brova! 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 I, I like this guy. <laughs> Who's this guy? Wait, oh, uh, sorry. Guy or not guy? Don't you dare hug me. <laughs> okay, bro. We're no. Shake hands, okay? Absolutely, bro. Consent's a big thing, bro. No, if you crush my hand, I'm going to. I'll right. be gentle, bro. Pleasure to meet you. He's, yeah, he's like really like delicate. Tornado, right? Tornado. Cloud. Yes. His name's Cloud. You can also call me Cloud. Cloud. People like Tornado. That's my jousting name. I'm a sky jouster. Me but too. My, my, my birth name is Cloud, but most people know me as Tornado. Okay, well. Pleasure to meet you, Tornado. Yes, yeah, Pleasure to meet you as well. What's, what, I, I mean, you, are, are we using disguise names? Or are we going to use, like, because Tornado is my real name. Well, Cloud's my real name, but everyone knows me as Tornado. Sure, let, let's go. I mean, I feel like we've already said bro. Uh, You've already jumped on Norfear with your actual name. Uh, just so you know, yeah, like Fuego, Goliath, and Stream are all yeah. here as well. Like, they've heard all this exchange. Yeah, and, like, blown. It's blown sky high. Uh, I mean, Norfear, where, where do we stand on these disguises? Uh, and she'll sort of look and say, well, these three, and she points at the three of the safe house, they are new, but they're members of the Seekers, and they've been very useful. I, I think that you are amongst friends here, um, and we can all trust each other, right? And she kind of looks at Fuego and Goliath. Uh, I remember the two of you, actually. You should know what will happen if anything... If you say anything, you shouldn't, right? Uh, and Goliath kind of, like, glares at Norfear, but Fuego's like... It's cool. I, I remember Miss. I remember Ma'am. And he's like, yeah, you'll kill us or like beat us up and throw us in the river or something scary, right? You're, you're a scary lady. I get it. Oh uh, okay. He's like, um, man, I can't believe you were here. And he's like looking at Tony. He's like, hey, little bro, fire bro. And he's like, nice to meet you. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> hell yeah. yeah. It's, and so he I like fist bumps you. with him. I told you. Boy, he's such a moron. He's so happy. It's hey, infectious. Oh, nice I love it. You say the M word one more time. You know what's going to happen. Say it. I, bro, yeah. Dare me, Brova. Yeah. Yeah. You're a moron. <laughs> he runs over, he grabs uh, Nova in a headlock, and he begins, like, rubbing the top of her head to the point where it becomes static, and he begins, like, stomping it into the I hate you so much. Like, Who's the wisp head? I hate Who's you so much. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and like lets her go. It's like, that's what happens when you call me a moron. It's I'm just, learning so it's much. You should amazing. so quick. You should insult people. No okay, how are you in charge <laughs> of the secrets? Oh, this is amazing. Man, did they say that I'm in charge? I keep telling people I'm not in charge. Norfair, you need to you need to tell people I'm not in charge. People believe in you, Tornado. It's it's good for I, morale that they think you. I mean, yeah, we we heard of some of your heroic exploits, saving oh, people in the bro. in the in the protests. I, no, I, I just I saw people who were I saw people who needed help. That's it. Uh, hey, I sacrificed my hand to save all your lives on that space station. Yeah, I, I what? We, we are, got a hand. Look, we are all on the same page <laughs> that you're a hero, but you can't discredit. We didn't say you were. I'm more of a hero than he is. We never. Ooh, the sibling okay, rivalry well, is intense right now. Oh, bro, are you kidding? Like, I heard a little bit from mom and dad that you were off, like, saving the world and stuff, man. Brova, you're a mega hero. You're my hero. Oh! <laughs> I love you! I love you too. Like, he like, like leans you down. He's massive compared to Nova. He's like, and the thing is, is you've seen, you've met Nova's parents. There is, you do not see the genetic. <laughs> Where did I mean, that go? Where did like, that go? This is like, like, this is like a great, like, this is like a great, great, great <laughs> Some genetic. freak genetic yeah. just came in. Uh, uh, and he's definitely. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, he's uh, not the sharpest tool in the Ted, you know? In the Ted? Uh, yeah. In the Ted? Yeah. In the What's wrong with my husband? It's hilarious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he ain't the smartest tool in the Ted. Yeah, exactly. Somehow, tornado's in him. Uh, <laughs> That's true. I'm down. I'm down for that. But yeah, he's just like, well, thank you guys so much for coming to help us. We, re- we could really use your help. Uh, I don't really know a lot of this strategy stuff. That's what North is for, and we got a lot of smart people in the different safe houses who have been giving me advice and things. But I mean, I knew that I knew that Nova was coming, so I had to come and say hi. You need to know everyone in this room. Um, oh, hi, Bolt. By the way, hi. Hi. He just sort of like nods. He's like, "Hello, Nova." Oh, okay. Hello, the rest of you. That's fine. I'm I'm not here for the theatrics. I'm here for advice and knowledge. Bolt, Bolt was one of the original members of the Seekers. I, well, really? I was the first. Wow, I was the first. He's second. Back when we were more oh. concerned with actual research into plain art magic rather than all of this politi- politics. Well, here's the thing. Some of that research might come in handy because we've discovered that if they activate those teleportation rings, this entire city's going to implode. Bro! Tornado is <laughs> so surprised. Uh, He's like, what? Uh, Norfear and Bolt do not look surprised. Uh, Quill. Uh, exactly that. I, I, I had a vision of the statues activating, rune stones covering their bodies, and then collapsing in on themselves. And the city begins to it, uh, it almost teleports, but then it comes back, teleports again, comes back, and until it all just turns to dust. Uh, so I mean, I don't know with that information. He's like, bro, how did you see this? <laughs> the city's here. I had a vision. <clears throat> Whoa. Yeah. You can see the future? Uh, potential futures. Whoa. Yeah. Bro. And it could change. Yeah, anyway, anyway. <laughs> he's like, it's like, it just becomes yeah. like a dial tone. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, I don't know what we can do with the information that, there. I don't know what uh, you've potentially learned about what we could do to even begin to stop this. Um, uh, Norfear will sort of say, there are some things, we'll get to that momentarily. I, I'm honestly not that surprised by what you've seen, though. Um, Harmony and Chensara have been rushing this. Uh, from everything we've witnessed, they are desperate to make this happen, and they want it to happen as soon as possible. I have, I'm not entirely sure why. It's hard to get insight into them. They've been keeping away from a lot of people beyond these concerts and public appearances. Even I've struggled to infiltrate into this sort of central district. Um, but they are, I, I knew that they were accelerating their plans massively and we all know that when you rush things, you make mistakes and things happen. Uh, Bolt will say, I, I, have some, I, I have some theories. You should all know, as I've earned Tornado and Norfis trust, I was actually initially helping Shansara and Harmony Back when this all began, we thought it was a genuine way of learning new planar magic, like the Seekers were initially established to do. We thought that returning to our home plane would be a good thing. But the more that I spent around them, the more that I began to realize that there was more to it than simply knowledge seeking. There was ego here involved. That sounds and similar to someone else, actually. What? Huh? Huh? 
I'll let you deal with your personal matters later, but the fact of the matter is, is that I saw many <laughs> theories and I didn't like what I saw. Uh, this magic that they're using is highly experimental, uh, never before done, which means that it's untested and therefore dangerous. It shouldn't be tested on an entire city. Indeed. I don't even know if they've conducted smaller preliminary tests. We don't know how far along they are. We don't know what they've been doing these last few months. But it does not surprise me that if they do activate it, it would be disastrous. <coughs> I didn't need to gift a foresight to envision that, but it uh, does not Shots surprise fired. me. Yeah, fucking all right. Oh, yeah, he's, he's definitely like uh, a Barbie guy, like edgy guy. Yeah. Uh, There's two problems. Sentry? But why are they so keen to leave? What's, what's the rush? Is something happening? Mm. <laughs> it, well, Nova can probably sort of fill in a little bit more, but what I've come to learn in my short time here. The Ganassi have always felt quite separated from Aroas, isolated. Um, newer generations are more at home here, but stories have passed through the older generations. There's this nostalgia for what could have been a place that they should have been called home. And I have to hand it to her as another, uh, somebody who uses manipulation Shansara is very good at what she does. Mm. She immediately quickly discovered, she, she capitalized on the fact that music is such an important cultural element here. Mm. Performance, theater, uh, opera, to drama, uh, but also harmony. The leader of this city, they in, often, they, they embody many of the desires and, and will, wishes of the people here. And nobody is a bigger proponent for this journey home than harmony themselves. Uh, Shansara is certainly pushing it and leading it, but Harmony has backed her from day one. Um, and people are excited. People want it. I, I could not tell you why Harmony and Shansara are so desperate to do this so quickly. That's something I've been trying to figure out. Mm. But uh, uh, I can see why it's affected the people here so much and why it's built up into the, the storm it has become. Harmony... <clears throat> As I mentioned before, Harmony is the leader of the council. They are a rare entity born of all four elements. I've said before that we're not particularly religious, but they are probably akin to what you would call a god here. They represent the best interests, the best of us, but I guess also the worst of us. They represent unity in all four elements, and if they... If they were on board with this from the word go, that would have had a huge sway in the public opinion. You, when you, when Nova was saying that, I think Quill might be the only one that picks up on this. Um, especially when Nova said like Harmony's akin to a god, you just see Bolt just like s softly shake his head and sneer, like, you, and you immediately can tell he's just like utter garbage, like. Like, he hates that idea. That I mean, that's not necessarily what... No, 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 but, like, you, even just you mentioning yeah. it, it's like somebody talking about something that you've, you're just like, oh, for fuck's sake, I hate this. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's that kind of thing. He's, like, rolling his eyes and stuff. Um, Tornado's just kind of, like, sitting there listening, like, not saying anything, but, like, trying to listen in and trying to, like, you know, get the vibe of everything that's going on. Um, but, yeah, Northfield will say, but you're here now, uh, and that is a much-needed relief. We have a few people here, but we are on the back foot in this city and we don't have much time left. Uh, hopefully you received my communication. I think by tomorrow, six days, but it could be few, it could be more, it could be less. It's hard to say. Um, you did good, did good to enter the city as you've done. And uh, I've not heard of any major alarm bells or anything like that. There's okay. a bit more of a heightened alert in the city just for strangers in general, but I don't think that that's necessarily your fault. Um, Good to know. Is there a way to... Probably not, but... I'm saying ask. Now's the time for thinking out loud. It's a big thought, but is there a way to secretly evacuate citizens, like-minded ones that... Just in case, just in case we can't stop this in time. No, but the, honest, the truth is, is that there's really not that many people that are like-minded. It's, it's a handful of the Seekers. That's... One of the things that Norfir and I wanted to talk with you, it's, it's one of our objectives that we're trying to work towards, but I mean, we're, it's mostly kids, students, uh, the occasional laborers and workers, people that don't have magic powers or high educations. It's, it's, it's kind of regular folks, right? So we don't, Norfir has been the main person that's been doing a lot of stuff. And then I guess I've been helping a little bit and 
but we got kids like this guy and he points at Fuego and stuff like that, but we're limited on actual people who can get stuff done. Uh, but now that you're here, that we may be able to change that. Uh, how, um, how close are the festivals? How uh, many days? As in, like the the big festival yeah, that yeah. is going to be transported, it will be literally... it will be that's the main thing. That it North is saying she thinks that tomorrow it'll be about six days. Um, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, um, but are you, are you, do, or do you mean like the little concerts and festivals and things like that? Yeah, uh, I guess I was because uh, they pretty <clears> much <throat> happen every day. Yeah, like I was, I was guessing like the time that we were walking around Vorton Saar to get to the Brazen Pit and all of these other yeah, places. You're only there is there a, like? A, there's probably just a ton of buzz, like... Yeah. Oh, everyone, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like you saw, like, banners were being hung. People were, like, buying outfits and celebrating. Everybody's talking about it. Like, yeah. they can't wait. But they don't know... They know that the plan is to transport to Vortensar uh, back to Ganas. They don't know exactly what's going to happen in six days. They just know that a big event is coming. Shansar and Harmony have been teasing this, like, we're going to have big news for you soon, and, like, you should be prepared. And, like, you occasionally, like, with those crystal screens, it might just be, like, seven days. You know, <laughs> okay. that kind of stuff, like right. Um, so all the big, yeah, marketing. Yeah, brand. yeah, it, it really like and like out of character. Like this is Shansara is like marketing genius SEO. Mm -hmm. I can't be that because I'm Mark Humes, but like <laughs> it, in in the fantasy, she is really controlling this in a really clever way. Um, and you can see why it's like built so many people in. But it's because she's also been unopposed. She's not really had anybody really actively pushing against her, right? And that might change now that you guys are here. Um, so, I think yeah. that the I also I'm, I I realize like, is that how much time I'm trying to keep an eye on like times for breaks? Is it break time now? No, we got like we 25 are. minutes. Okay, yeah. 25 minutes. Nice. Okay. Um. So Norfear, uh, you can see she kind of like takes off a scroll case that she was kind of carrying on her shoulder, and she replaces. She looks at Fuego's map and just like Fuego, come on, <laughs> and throws it to the side. So like, hey, <laughs> um, and she pulls out a bunch of more detailed maps and like documents and oh, images. God. Like she pulls out a couple of the Valkyrian slates, like the little crystal screens. She puts those down, and they've kind of got like information and and uh, images and stuff on them, like pictures, like still illusions, like of buildings and things like that. So. Let's talk about what we can do. We'll have to start tomorrow. I imagine you've had a long day and you'll need to get some rest after this. But we'll need to start things tomorrow. The Seekers and I, we've established two primary objectives before whatever is gonna happen happens. The first one is to find out where these planar transport devices are being built and sabotage them. The second is to influence the city to push back against Shansara and Harmony's Ideal ideals. Make them realize that Aroes isn't against them. Make them realize that they don't have to go back to Ganas, that this could be dangerous. Um, those are our two main objectives. We can talk about how to achieve those, but keep those in mind. Alongside those, there are also three other things that we think will help immensely in those. Uh, the first is that the Valkyrian army, well, the forces that are supporting Shansari here, they're very well equipped. They've got supply houses, warehouses, and those two transport ships you saw. Uh, they're keeping everybody supplied, and they're a powerful military force. Some of them, I don't think I could take care of. Taking care of those would be a huge help, and it would make our future endeavors much easier. The next is to escort. There are a number of students who are currently being held at Atlas Academy. Officially, they are being isolated and quarantined for a potential illness, but we know that they're being kept there because they stumbled onto some research involving the planar transportation magic. They're not being allowed to leave. The Atlas Academy is very busy and it's very well guarded. We need a team to escort them to one of our safe houses so we can disperse them into the city, get them hidden, hide them away. The last one is a number of the council members went missing. Official sources are suggesting that I assassinated them. I was unfortunate to get caught, and a description of me and several of my other disguises have been sort of passed around the city. It's making it harder for me to get my job done, but they're implying that Erosians <coughs> assassinated them to try and stop this happening. We believe they're actually just being held somewhere until the city is transported. Uh, if we can find those council members, if we can rescue them, that will do a huge blow to this idea that they've been killed by Erosians and would do a lot to counteract Shansara and Harmony's claims. Uh, 
those are three things that we could do to try and assist the others. But there are going to be many other ways, uh, just generally influencing the populace, um, trying to locate these planar devices. There are lots of different things we can be doing around the city to, to aid in this. Okay, okay, um, understood. Is there, is there any way that we could um, navigate the city more freely than we currently are uh, in these disguises. I suppose we're going to have to stay here, obviously, in the disguises, but... Well, I mean, you can move around the city. You are Ganassi. You can travel anywhere you want to. Uh, you just need to be careful of your IDs. I'm guessing that you got given at the gate. They yeah. will flag you at certain points. Now, you know, it's just a piece of leather you're carrying around with you. If you can find clever ways to store them or hide them somewhere and then retrieve them later, you can pretty much go anywhere you need to. Uh, my understanding as well is that um, Rain was going to equip you with a specialist who could help you create disguises and yes. personas if you need to. They're already here. Good. Well, then you can, might be able to change those and you might be able to use those to find other disguises. You may also, if you can access Valkyrian barracks, if you can make your way into uh, an elite Ganassi's, a wealthy Ganassi's home and find some of their clothing or a disguise, that may also help you. Uh, you'll be able to acquire things that your tailor, shall we call them, um, isn't able to provide you. Uh, those will make your disguises a lot more impressive and give you access to other areas in the city. Um, these sorts of things will take time. This isn't a case of we don't know where these devices are being stored or built or where we can even sabotage them. We don't know where the council members are. We don't know exactly where the students are being held in the Atlas Academy. Uh, we don't know which are the best barracks and warehouses for the Valkyrians to hit. So it will involve spending time to research it and maybe performing a few light tasks before you can unlock those opportunities and, and go on actual missions. Now you can do this individually, in fact I would recommend that you divide your time, you don't need to all do the same things together. And I would also think that you should work with this safe house team, and your gesture to Fuego, Goliath and Stream. This should be your base of operations, and I'm happy to put you in command and put them at your service. Uh, they are skilled enough, they know what they're doing, they're not as powerful as you, but they would be useful, at least in getting some of the legwork done if you need to. And Stream's a pretty capable medic. She can help look after you and keep your energy topped up as you're doing these things, if you encounter any problems. I would recommend that with the planar devices, we should locate all four of them, and then we all strike in a coordinated attack. We have enough seekers that if you can find them and you can take care of at least one, we'll take care of the other three. Uh, that way, if we strike one at a time, my fear is that the Valkyrians will reinforce their defenses and make it much harder for us in the future. We need to hit all four of those devices at the same time. So we need to locate all four, make our preparations, and everything else. You'll also have time in the city to go and make your own preparations. Buy equipment, uh, pay off bribes, uh, make preparations. Flashback token mechanic, you don't forget you can spend time segments to earn flashback tokens. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um... Are you able to pinpoint on the map um, other safe houses if, if any of these operations do fail in some way and we need to hide out for a while? Absolutely. Um, so we'll give you a detailed list of um, safe houses in each district. Uh, just keep in mind that if you are engaged in an encounter, if you end up having to fight guards, you can't go to a safe house. You'll expose sure. it. Um, or if you do, that safe house is burnt. Uh, you won't be able to use it again. Um, we'll have to basically destroy it and make sure our people never go back there. Uh, but, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we'll provide you whatever support we can and assistance that we can. Think of it as a network of people. We have informants, we have people that give us information, that can perform small tasks for us. All of those are at your disposal and ours as well. I'll do my best to advise you. Think of me as a sort of advisor and as a specialist. I can't really get out too much into the city at the moment. My identity is too compromised. So is Tornadoes. We'll be there when you need us for things, big things, but I don't want to risk it until then. Okay. Well, if one of us or a team of us goes to find new outfits for us to gain better access to the whole town, perhaps we could find some alternative disguises for you as well that can be made in time. Um, possible. I've considered that. I, I could probably have acquired those myself. The difficulty is that the Valkyrians have mages and people who are capable of scrying, seeing through disguises. Uh, the safe houses are the only places I'm really safe. If I step outside, even in disguise, they're keeping a pretty close eye for me and using magic to try and track me. Uh, 
Uh, this is why I'm sort of benched for now. But when it comes down to it, for our battle against for the planar devices or any big operations, I'll be there. You can count on that. Um, right. Uh, for the most part, I'm the only one who has an active kill on site order. Uh, Tornado, the other Ganassi, the Valkyrians and Harmony would prefer to capture them. Um, so even if you do get caught, there's a chance that you're, if you're on your own or if you're separated, your companions may be able to rescue you. We may be able to rescue you. Um, I'm the only one who uh, they're quite happy to kill on site. So they do think that I've killed many of their uh, council members. So I do think it's important as well that we f follow the brain. Oh no. Follow the brain. I'm becoming like Tornado. I knew this would happen. Hey. Follow the bro. Um. <laughs> just feel it, bro. <laughs> you think too hard, that's the problem. You just gotta let it come. Get bro. out of my head! <laughs> 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 we need to be careful about injuring and and, and killing Ganassi. If, if it's seen that Erosians kill Ganassi, especially if it's civilians through, I don't know, collateral damage or things like that, that's gonna tank our cause. No one's gonna listen to us. That's true. Yes. I would definitely recommend using non-lethal methods wherever you can. Um, obviously, some magic cannot be done in such a way. Um, but if you have to fight, uh, killing, especially civilians, absolutely. But the soldiers, Valkyrian or Ganassi, I mean, it's part of their job and it will happen. I can't promise you that you might not be put into a situation where you might have to choose life or death, but if you can avoid killing them, if you can knock them out, render them unconscious, disable them in any way, that's preferred. Okay. I know very few of you are particularly skilled in stealthy arts, <coughs> <coughs> but stealth is not the only option. Deception, trickery, those things I think you can do, even if you can't be quiet. Um, <coughs> that's actually Mark <coughs> having a really dry throat, that's not Norfolk. <laughs> but do your best. There are other ways. Many of you are talented at talking and speaking, and that will have its uses as well. Influence in the city is not a quick task. It will need to be something that we constantly work out. Go out, meet people, make connections, give speeches, work, rally against this kind of idea that's being presented. For the more violent, breaking screens and intimidating uh, propaganda artists and things like that is a, an also apt way of making that sort of influence in the city. Uh, okay. There'll be many ways that you can do these kinds of things. Um, if you have any questions, I'm here to help. Mm. I can help as much as I can, but I, I, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm the first to admit it. I'm not the brains of this operation. I, I don't want to be in charge. I'm just, I'm just a guy who thought he was doing the right thing, and now suddenly everybody's saying that I'm, I'm, I'm in charge, but, uh... That's what we do. Hey, you know, in... Seems to be okay so far. You yeah. know, in Sky Jousting... Yeah, how important yeah, I know that. ...the mascot is. Oh, man, am I a mascot? <laughs> I was at least hoping that I was, like, I don't know, like, the Herald or something. Lucius but, doesn't... yeah, sure, I, it's good for morale, I, I get it, you know. We need the mascot. And there's no ego, I, I you know, it's, I'm not in this for this, I just want to help people, you know, bro? Um, when did you get back into Vorton, sir? We, we've been looking for you. Mum is worried sick. I already spoke to Mum. How? I sent her like a letter like when I first got back in the city. Just before Shh. she came to the the place. She said she was going to the, the Sky place. She didn't mention that. Oh, did she? I don't know. Anyway, she's worried. When did you... Why? What? How? I came back for a match. And then that's... I was here for a joust match. And that's when I saw these... Uh, the students at your school... They were in trouble. They were like, get, the, the people were beating them up, and so I jumped in to help. And and then they told me about this club that like you set up or something, or a bunch of people set up. Me, I set it up. Okay. It was all me. Okay. And me and Bolt. Nice, good job. Um and my club. Not yeah. Us. And then they just needed, you know, they were all like yeah. scrawny, nerdy kinds, like Nova. Oh right? my gosh. So they needed a guy who could protect them. So I started protecting them, and then people just started, I don't know, hearing about it, I guess. Well, it's a great thing Thanks, that you bro. are the leader. Thanks, bro. The figurehead, shall we say. Of sure, I'll take it. Do you even know anything about planar magic? Nope. Don't know anything about magic, bro. Technically, then, on the charter, you shouldn't be in the Seekers. Okay. I mean, I'm still going to help people. It's my club! 
It's my job. Are you okay, Brova? Are you okay? Brova? <laughs> I feel like you're mad at me. I only know you're about it sad. because I got flown into space by accident once. Do I still get to be in the club? Fine. <laughs> I imagine Bolt just in the corner. valid like. reason. I think we can all agree <laughs> that we all want to save Vortensar yeah. from yes. complete doom. So yeah. I think Tornado... Yeah. Is very much on board. I'll yeah. write an addendum into the charter that in times of severe emergency, when the greater good of Vortensar is in danger, anyone can join. I don't Do they get kicked out again when it's over? I will take it into consideration. Quite frankly, Nova, if you're worrying about the charter of this little club we started in school, I don't think now's really the time. The city's in danger. It's not a little club, Bob. It's not a little club at all. I notice you're still wearing the badge. Yes. Good. But if your major concern is badges and charters, I think your intentions are misplaced. This one's fun. I like this guy. Nova looks like they're about to go on a big he's old kind of rant. grumpy, but he's pretty smart. Nova's oh, yeah, to... no. I, smarty pants. We're making you more fun, though. Much more fun. Still that smart. That was me being fun, by the way, fun. Bob. That was me being fun. Trust yeah. me, yeah. I have a lot of things in my head about the seriousness of our situation, and you know we've been through a lot since I've been out. Thank you very much, Paul. But I'm trying to put that aside with humor. Oh, I don't really get jokes. No, I know. <laughs> I know. Okay. Just, he doesn't look phased. He doesn't seem phased that you're angry. He's just sort of like, oh, do his shades you a little bit. Like, Brova, <laughs> you're more fun. Great. I think uh, <laughs> Fuego will basically. Be so we work for these guys now? Yes, you work for these guys, Fuego. Okay. Sure. Uh, we had you going there for a minute that we were just some weirdos without any plan I mean, or anything. You are, you are weirdos. Yeah. And you yeah. didn't have a plan until North um, gave you one. Nanny, what? <laughs> Why do you call her Nanny? That's kind of weird. <laughs> like, is that like a kink thing? Like, <laughs> no, no. What's no? a kink? Oh, oh no. Oh, You're like no. way old. You should know about that. What's no. no, I'm like 15. Oh, oh. Man, big. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. What do they feed you in the... Wait, you're in disguise. Are you even Ganassi? You're not a Ganassi. I know you're... So none of you Ganassi? No, I am. You are? Yeah, it figures you're a nerd. No. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> you're, yeah, you're not. No. It, no, you don't... You're too, like... Guilty. Yeah. I'm going to bet Elf... Sky Elf. Yes. <laughs> You're like an orc or something, right? Yeah. Sure. Nice. I love orcs. Yeah. They're cool. You're a uh, bird you man. know what I am, yeah. What, what are you? Your worst what nightmare. Oh, whoa. Cool. I'm You'd never guess. guess. You'd never guess. No, I probably... Uh, he starts thinking. Hey, listen to this. And I'll, like, <laughs> knock on doing, your doing, shoulder. Doing. Dong, dong, <laughs> dong. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that could be armor. Uh, you're really tall. Oh, I'm gonna have to think. Who's tall? Goliath? No. Mmm, Goliath. You're a Goliath. No. Damn. Wait. Same letter though. <laughs> uh, it's, okay, I'll figure that out later. But uh, yo, well, I guess Mikasa Sukasa. This is your safe house now. Me and Goliath are on the on the squad. We can do stuff. All right. Okay. We can do stuff. We've got six days as of tomorrow. So yeah. I think we need to get down to it. We need to spend tonight formulating who's going to go where and do what. Right, Nova? Does anyone feel like six days is not you enough? Sleep. Uh, you will need to sleep at some point. Oh, we will. I've got a really tight chest. How can we sleep when I've got a really tight chest? I have interest. We've got yes. any herbal teas or anything like that? It's a lot. It's uh, a lot. Street's like, I, I can, yeah, I can do I can bring some nice tea. Yes. Sure, yeah, I'll, I'll get some tea. Sentry, can you, uh, as morale officer? Uh, you know, you know how to. Six days You're really good with Nova. Do. And there's not very many of us, and we have to be in disguise. No, we don't have to. It's just the whole I thing. I just gently just wrap my it's arms around Nova and just like. And then, uh, and then Tornado so comes over and he even? wraps his arm around and Nova I, I, I and like engulfs like from the other okay. side. It's okay, bro. We're all here. We're all here. We're all here, bro. Ayla will just go up and like this. Ayla will just go up and play with the hair that. But no. he really messed up. No. <laughs> Into a yeah. point. It's like, yeah, it's like a point like, at this point. Like, Mohican. Yeah. <laughs> Shh. Are you not one tornado? Six A's. I guess, like, okay. So, bro, when you joust, right, oh, no. you, can't, you can't be thinking about what's going on in the crowd or what, uh, what Cindy's thinking about you right now. You've got to... 
Just focus on the shield and the helm of the other knight. And you focus in because that's what matters, bro. In that moment, that one strike, all of this doesn't matter. You got a job to do, bro. Okay, so inspiring. Third place. He's not wrong. Third place. What do you with third place? Hey, I was third place, but you weren't there for my last one, bro. I was champion. I was saving the world! Of the sword competition, but it was close. <laughs> <laughs> I was out in space! See? Bro! You've been out in bro. space! So this is like Bolt nothing. It's like, what? Like when he hears that. I've been I've been beyond the cradle. I have tons of research to give you, Bolt. He seems to believe you and he's stunned to silence. Like, he's genuinely taken back. Let me Spoiler. give you a data pad. Spoiler! We'll do that. It sucks up there. Yeah. It's great up there. Tom, I'm pretty sure you were about to ask me an OC mechanics question. Oh, I was. Oh, I was about to do that. It was a. It was a question. It's not an. It's not exciting. Uh, it was. No, but it's going to be important. So the four quadrants of time that we have. Yeah. Um, is long rest Two. going to be one of those one. quadrants, or is that like a free? Thing? Yes, long rest is one of those right. quadrants. Okay. If you, I mean, you can not long rest. Right. But, but you, then you'll we'll be doing things tired. like gaining exhaustion, exhaustion yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So we're basically going to be operating on three out of four quadrants a day uh, a day yes okay but that is not as like that that time can be split up individually yeah like you can split the party yeah. and you can go and do things separately i will also tell you that you can also uh goliath and fuego you can use them okay. uh they have their own time segments time units we're going to call them okay um uh you can use them as well um and Things like tasks might not take that much. It's just that they'll need to be, you know, you need to decide how much time you want to spend. The more time you spend on stuff, the easier it will be. Um, but also, there's lots of different things you can do, right? So, uh, I am going to assume that you are going... Are you going to sleep and long rest tonight? Or you want to push through now? Uh, you save it and... Yeah, I think we're going to make plans and then, and then yeah, yeah, long we rest before we Yeah, you can make plans, operations. that's fine. Okay. Right. So, I'm going to mark off... That is now a complete day. You have finished one full day. We jump into the next day, and the countdown is now six <laughs> days. And we but still don't we got into the city, in which the city. is quite yeah, yeah. miraculous for us. So you met my bro. You are in the city. Um, I won't tell you so, what your incognito score is, but like as far as you know, you are not in any danger. I feel like it might have lowered yeah. because of us uh, all going one by one into this place, but yeah. possibly. Right. Possibly. It was 21 before, um, whatever that means. Um, so I guess before we kind of make plans mm. and wrap up, like as I guess- Before we take a break, yeah. Yeah, I imagine it's like minutes. we start to kind of maybe devolve into little think groups and yeah, all Yeah, like that. this is definitely like, yeah, it kind of like winds down either think groups or like little conversations if you want to have yeah. conversations and stuff as well. Absolutely. I think like, I'll just like, you know, Get a tornado into a corner and be like, yeah, comes over. What's up, bro? Mom misses you. I miss her too. I miss dad. Dad, dad I miss, misses you. I miss her mom. Aurora misses you. I know. I'd love to see him. I'd love to have gone with him to that sky place and stuff, bro, but people need me here. Look. I'm really rowdy. What? I genuinely can't hear you. I said, I'm really rowdy. Could he, I, I, I mean, I'm not trying to be... F I can't hear you. I said I'm really proud of you. Thanks, bro. I'm proud of you, too. And he just, like, picks you up. I'm happy you're safe. I'm Mom happy. Mom gave me this to give to you. And I take out a bundle that's wrapped up and pass it to him. Nope. Opens it. It's a scarf. Knitted in all the colors. Puts it straight on. Throws it over his shoulder. Is it the same as Nova's? Yeah. Oh. Fucking nice, bro. <laughs> Fucking nice. <laughs> Fucking nice, bro. He doesn't say fuck it. That, I, I'm getting yeah, yeah. Like, I'm excited. He goes, nice, bro. <laughs> nice scarf, bro. She says it's to keep you safe and warm like I did. It did me. That's cute. I love it. Thanks, bro. Little sis, bro. Brova. Sis. I don't... You, you've got a beard. It's weird. I know. It's like, really, I can't... Can Wait, you not go... are you a bro, bro? Like, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. I am bro. Bro! How can you concentrate with this thing just wobbling around? It's pretty tough, man. That's why I had it tough, removed. Bro. Can you not grow? Yeah, why are you here? Can you? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dad, just, it comes really patchy. Fuzzy, I get yeah. rid of it. Yeah. It looks it looks lame. Yeah, does it look good on me? I don't know if I'm... It looks good on you, but yeah. you, I mean, you don't look like 
you, you know? You look like a guy, like a random dude. That's the idea. Yeah, yeah. so it doesn't look like you. So no. it looks good on the guy you're pretending to be, bro. Okay, right. But it looks good, bro. Thanks, bro. Nice, bro. Nice. <laughs> it's infectious. <laughs> I love this guy. Yeah. Yeah, I love him. It's Tornado. Great. Yeah. Yeah. He's amazing. Yeah. He's so Fucking good. Tornado. I was right. I was prepping today's I was prepping today. And as I was doing a lot of stuff, I was like, can't wait for tonight. <laughs> he, he literally messaged I me like, going, I cannot wait. wait for you to meet Tornado. And I was like, Bruh. oh, yeah. I'm gonna take some painkillers just to preempt I, this. In, in my head, a hundred percent Disney's Hercules is the like, <laughs> like the style of like the adult Hercules is like that's it. See, I've yeah. just been thinking about that big turtle from Finding Nemo. <laughs> yeah, that checks out the, the yeah. voice. The, the yeah. California, yeah, it's, it's the surf. Ride the wave, bro. Ride, 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 ride the wave, bro. Um, <laughs> it's a I had, I had. There was one thing that, like, if anybody like like pointed out him like crying or like made a big deal out of him crying, he was gonna be like. Nothing more manly than being in touch with your emotions, bro. He's so he's like, oh, yeah. such an inspiration to yeah. us all. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah. He's Hell yeah, bro. Open, Hell yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm allergic to jerks. He's, so, he's such an open-hearted. Oh, bro. He's a, big, he's a himbo. I he's hate like, him. This is like I have increased the himbo gaze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. yeah. eleven right now. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. twelve. Um, but yeah. Oh, I all love right. him and I hate him. So splitting off into different teams and stuff like that. Like, is yeah. there anything before we go on break? Is there anything you want to ask? Is there anything you want to clarify? <clears throat> Is there anything you want to do? Uh, just you can take a long rest if you want to take it. Or are we gonna do the, the big plan when we get back? So this is like you don't need to make like one big plan, like, like one quarter. Like day. yeah, this is yeah. gonna be. We're gonna take each day. I'm gonna ask yeah. you how you're spending your days. Okay. Like you can figure it all out, and I'll go back over. Like if you like, remind me what are the objectives, we need to or remind you what the projects are. Stuff first. Though. Have a look you don't have to. I mean, you you know what you can work mm. towards. So. Um, the and then when you start working Maybe. on one, I'll reveal exactly how these things are going to work. Uh, cool. The general concept is you have to spend time to discover an opportunity. Then you will do a sort of um, like a, you'll use your skills to unlock that opportunity as an actual like mission that you can go on. Right. right. And then Operate. that mission will yeah. be like normal D and D, like with us like you know doing all the normal stuff. Right. Cool. Um, might not necessarily be a combat, but it will just be like a normal kind of play session, right? This is rad. The, the unlocking it's going to be a bit more abstract, mm. and that's where it'll be more like a skill challenge where I'll be like, yeah, yeah well, you're going to go around, you're going to talk to people, make a skill check, but it's representing lots of things. But like, you can use creative ways of doing it. Because I know like Ayla mainly has like athletics and like strength based and like hit and stuff, but there might be a creative way of using that to do more kind of mission y stuff, right? Mm. In those kind of skill Breaking challenges. Breaking open jail cells. Yeah, like, absolutely. Or like carrying stuff, or like using survival to like tr like follow Track, some dude yeah. and like do like a, a surveillance kind of thing or something like that, right? Yeah. Um, follow mission. So oh. uh, definitely. Oh, yeah, right. Well, that would be just a skill check. That won't be like an actual mission. Mission. Well, yeah, animation, <laughs> they're walking animations a bit um, slower than your right. <laughs> and then they stop. And then turn around. They just keep like running. For off. you guys benefit. Obviously, <laughs> this is D and D, yeah. and things have consequences. When you do these skill challenges, you go on these events. If you guys fuck up, if you roll bad, yeah. if you make mistakes. When? When? Yeah. It will probably cost you in some sort of resource, and those resources will be your incognito score, your time units, so you might have to spend more time to do something than you were expecting because yeah. you fucked up. It might also cost you hit dice, and Ooh. if you run out of hit dice, you begin getting exhaustion levels. Okay. Right? So rather than me doing like hit dice. I know. <laughs> it's because it's, it's a massively underused mechanic. Um, rather than because it wouldn't make sense that like, oh, like we're abstracting Quill following a guy through the streets, right? It doesn't make sense for me to do damage to him in terms of normal hit points. But I could be like, well, lose four hit dice to represent you being tired and like having to run around pushing. and like pushing yourself to do it, right? Legs. So that's the idea behind that. I like that. Um, and then there's also a thing with Stream, who is a medic, she can replenish a certain amount of hit dice, yeah. but it's limited and it has to be spread amongst the whole team. Oh, it's a pool. Yeah, and then, then you also have your two scrubs. It's you, you and your you bloody... I love mechanics, man. I love yeah, but they're always I love great. mechanics. They're I love it. Great. Yeah. Like, if I just wanted to, if we just wanted to tell a story, we wouldn't play D&D. &D. Exactly. We would just make a story up together. So I like mechanics and I like rules. Yeah, um, I love them. And yeah, and Cold Smoke Street Safe House is your base of operations. Cool. It's yours, it's secure, do what you want. It's in a good location. Unless 
you fuck up. Unless we burn it. gets busted. Yeah. It's busted. Uh, for those of you as well, um, Fuego and Goliath, if you do go on like a normal D&D like mission, like an encounter, you can take them with you. And they have sidekick stats that you can actually add mm. to your extras okay. tab. Sidekick. Um, and I'll have you guys run them. I'm not going to run them. You guys have to remember them. You roll initiative yeah. for them and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, uh, but they have, uh, if you go into your extras, um, and then you go to add a new thing, and then it's like sidekicks or like something like that. You should be able to search for them. Oh, I see them. Yeah, so it should be Fuego and Goliath in there. Oh, um, not bad. Yeah, they're like equivalent to like a level seven-ish character. Yeah. Um, so... And they've got unique skills and things like that. Goliath is basically just a bruiser. He's really good at fighting, and that's pretty much what he's good at, being strong. Um, Fuego's more like a rogue. He's like an expert. He can do a bunch of different stuff. Um, okay. All right. Cool. All right. Yeah. We'll sort that out in the back. Yeah, that's something to have a look at. Um, and again, we can always check back in and, and catch up on it. And stuff yeah. Like that as well. I made yeah. a to do list. Good. Very good. See? That's OC. Ayla can't make a to do list, but Kate can. <laughs> Atlas Nerds is the top one. The last one is Break Shit. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's, okay, what? so it is Ayla's to do list. Yeah. I thought it was Kate being like, I mean, it is. Down, it's but... on a nice to do list <laughs> I mean, read, read out for format. Uh, Atlas Nerds, locate devices, find counsel, influence normies, and break shit. And then I wrote Fuego, Goliath, and Stream next to it, just yeah. remember. I'm proud of you, Ayla. Um, one thing, actually, uh, so with the influencing the city one, all of the other ones, uh, you basically need to, like, complete missions to earn points to, like, complete them, right? The influence the city one doesn't have a completion amount. It's just the more points you get, the more the city the is influenced. Yeah. All and these sub-objectives. Yeah. Yeah, and it means that, like, you know, if you have that final push, if you have a high influence with the city, they're going to rally behind you. If you have a low influence with the city, they're going to be like, no, we don't want you. We want to go with them. So it's that that's the thing to keep in mind. So in terms of priority, that might be one to just keep in the back of your mind as like, you know, if you've got time, work towards, you know, pushing Smash that. Smash your camera. And stuff. Yeah. Or speaking to people or, you know. Smash your camera. Going on a concert. You could be like, we're going to start a band and do our own music concert. Oh, it could be Fuego's like punk band. Yeah, he's yeah. not He's not a singer. Oh, uh, well, most punk singers aren't singers. That's true. He's not a good performer. <laughs> Okay. Um, we get my alchemical romance. Oh, maybe could. When I was young boy. With hey, that, note, <laughs> that dawn of the first day, six days remain. Six days remain. That's going to be the end <laughs> of part one. You know the sound effect we're thinking of. Here on High Rollers. Take care. We'll see you for part two. Goodbye. Wait. Majora's Mask. Goodbye. Majority. Oh, bro. 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 Hey, welcome bro. back, bro. bro. No, not welcome back. We're going away. Then we'll be back. <laughs> yeah. We'll be back. I've I've gone tornado. Um, I've gone full tornado. Full tornado. Um, this is the hey, pre-break. Ramble. Pre-break. We're gonna. Don't forget, brand new merch released today. Yeah, look at it. Get we it. Got, we got all these cool shirts. These wood print. This is our brand new kind of collection. It's a really cool design. Flash sale. Yeah. Nina Serena. Aww. Flash sale on High Rollers Club T-shirt. You can get that. You can get the Christmas jumper for Christmas. Mm. You can get the tankard. You can get the dice. The blessing. Uh, you get Where hoodie. Long sleeve T-shirt. Uh, short sleeve t-shirt, all done by the amazing Nina Serena. We love her, my fiance, yeah. my beloved, my scrugglet. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> scrugglet. Scrugglet. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Um, oh, that's cute. Check and, it out. and the glitter dice. Uh, and also, if you're over in America and you're going to pack some plugged in December, I'm going to be there. So come say hi. That's it. We're going to take our break now. Yeah. We'll see you in five. See you in a bit. Go pee. Get a drink.
Welcome back, bro. Bro. Hey, bro. It's time hey, for bro. Back on High Rollers. We're going to do the thing where I come back in and then we're going to start playing the game again. Mm. But I, I did all the things before we went on break, so I don't need to talk about it's anything. True. Yeah, yeah. So we're just gonna, we're going to do it. Take it away, Sam. Hello. Welcome back to part two of High Rollers. Don't mind the little giggles. They just happen. Uh, last time, our party have finally met with their ally, Norfear. And Nova's brother, Tornado. Moron! Safe house uh, in Vortensar, mm -hmm. where they are planning. And they have had the sort of actualities of the situation placed upon them, as well as some objectives um, and how they can go about helping this city in the six days they have Boy. remaining. Uh, as a little recap for you at home, whether you're listening on podcast or watching, uh, the way that we're doing this, um, because I love rules and I love mechanics, yeah. is we've split the days, rather than tracking hour by hour, because that can get a bit tedious in D&D, we're splitting the days into four segments. Uh, each player has four segments, time units in the day, to spend on doing stuff. Um, one of those segments will probably be have to use for long resting, but rest of it they can use to decide what they want to do. They have missions that they need to prepare for. Yep. They can earn flashback tokens by spending time, and flashback tokens can be cashed in to sort of introduce other elements, uh, to give themselves bonuses, and do a bunch of things that... It's amazing. Um, <laughs> check our Discord if you want to get all the in-jokes and why we giggle and don't talk about it, because we can't really explain this one. Uh, <laughs> I took so, a dumb picture of myself. Oh, that was the face. He's now drawn it. And it was the face. That's what it is. Uh, but yeah, flashback tokens can be used to kind of help them when they're in a jam, or to like introduce something to the scene, or give them like an aid when they need it. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of other mechanics in place, but you'll figure out those as we go along. And we start, my dear friends, on the start of day six. Yeah, we start on day six. Um, I Just I... let's, before we get into it, because it's going to distract her, <laughs> Sam, if you can PTZ and show Tom's phone, I don't even know if it's in That's shot. That's what we're using this camera for. we got to use it for some... All 700 pounds of this camera. There it is. Zoom in. There it is. This is what everyone was laughing at. This is professional <laughs> Disney stream. Real professional D and D stream we've got here. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what happened? This I think is, I could do it better. You know, it's an unedited picture. That's... <laughs> just somehow how this happens. How did you do that? Yeah, I don't know. It kind of looks anyway. like uh, a guy from Ghost Files. Like... <laughs> Shane, when he puts the camera on. Devil baby. So glad I spent hours writing these D&D adventures. Devil baby. Right. Anyway. Anyway, moving on. Let's forget about Demon Tom. All right. Let's say Devil baby. Devil baby. From my mind. You want to fucking play? Before we start making plans, I am just going to open my water skin. Nice. And... No! What? Perfectly normal noise. Just ow. Why is it fizzy? It's like I carbonated my water skin. That's so, working out, see for you. God, Don't you carbonate water anything. Skin exploding? I have one question. Do you guys yeah. go back to your respective inns to sleep? Uh, we should, otherwise we're going to get yeah, covers. We, 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 right? yeah. we need to go through the. But I mean, we'll, we'll stay where we are for now to, to, to arrange. Well, I'm going to, like, things. yeah, I mean, like. Uh, you, I mean, yeah, you can do a little bit of planning, but we can't take any actions until New Day starts, and I don't sure. want to be stuck here planning and RPing. No, no, like, I think it's just figuring out what, what everyone next? intends there to do. There was a lot here, of like, the immediate... steps to do, so yeah. we need to work out what order yeah. we want to do things in. Um, yes, the other thing I would say is I would say that for you guys... For now, we'll say that going back to these inns that you've kind of been set up with won't take you any time units. Moving to other districts and things might cost you additional time. Okay. But for now, we'll say that like yeah, you can go back to those inns and as part of your time segment that you're spending. So, all right. Um. So I guess to get the ball rolling, uh, Nova would probably suggest that she deals with um, 
the students locked up in Atlas Academy because being a student of Atlas Academy, she knows the layout. So I'm gonna clarify something here. So when we talk about like spending these time units, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be doing like the like finding out where they are, finding out where they're locked in, what mm -hmm. times like planning an opportunity when you can go and get them, right? Mm -hmm. When it comes to actually going and rescuing them, you can choose like to all go together. You can send like, okay, Nova, Lucius and Sentry are gonna go and then the other three are gonna go and do something else or the other lot are gonna go and say, so you can choose. So you could do it solo, mm -hmm. um, but the build up to it, Anybody can contribute. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. You can do it all like that. I just yeah. want to make it clear that, like, you know, it's not like a is, you have yeah, to do one split thing. this way. Yeah. Okay. No, it's right. just a. I'm just proposing a starting point. Sure. Because no one knows Atlas Academy and how it works, and you know, probably doesn't have no like the lower regions or wherever there, but knows enough to get around. Mm -hmm. um, so that would be her suggestion: is that she starts investing time into. Yeah. Unlocking that opportunity. Yeah, and then Discovering brings in whoever else is needed. And they said the students, uh, was it the students that had um, information? They found information they, about They have, yeah. like, research, information research. about the planar uh, transport magic, yes. Okay, so that's a good It might not be the location of the devices, but it, it, it would be something of use to the seekers. Yeah. Um, you don't know exactly what you're going to get from doing these other side objectives, like... You Still, have a vague idea a, of like, a, yeah, there'll be some useful information, but you don't know what it will be. It's a good starting point, yeah. And um, if those students are like then in the city, they could also help influence. With influence, Because they, yeah. if they know. Potentially. It's maybe. a double-pronged assault. Maybe. Influencing and also finding the teleporters. A meat fork. Y yeah. Ham. I've been watching a lot of Brooklyn Nine-Nine recently. Yeah. And yeah, it's the Me meat too. fork defense. Right. Right. And like I said, you, you can divide, Force, like, you know, you can say, like, well, Nova's going to spend, you know, for the next day, Nova's going to spend one time unit l looking into that, right, to unlock that opportunity. And then Quill might be like, well, actually, I'm also going to do that because I want to try and get that as soon as we can. But then Lucius might be like, well, I, I think I should be unlocking this other, like, working yeah. towards this yeah. other thing, right? So you case. can split your times up. Oh, and don't forget, right. you have Fuego and Goliath, who basically count as another piece. Each. They each count as another character for yeah. time. Could, could Bolt help? Bolt will not be helping. He has other duties. What's his other duties? Huh? Being a fucking nerd? Yeah, like doing all the other seeker shit oh, that's whatever. going on. Yeah. yeah. Like doing they're, they're helping with all of this, He's but just not directly. He's real big for his with... boots since I left. Yeah, that's fine. He's like the main advisor on Planet oh, Magic. Yeah, that's fair. What? Um I'd give like him a data pad full of everything I learned, sure, by the way, yeah, just I mean, you know. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. If we are Oh, planning... he's a double agent, isn't he? Maybe. Yeah. He already said that he did already help them once. Yeah. Anyway, Trump. I've done it again, guys. Planning the first quadrant to do that. I think Lucius would like to start laying the groundwork to fabricating alternative identity outfits mm -hmm. for us. So I think Lucius would go to more upper class yeah. districts, start schmoozing with his noble knowledge and how to fit in with those kind of people and see if he can get an in. Okay. To right. someone's place, because he knows that there's like balls and parties and things like that all the time. Yeah. What I would do that as mechanically is absolutely that would be what that would earn you is a flashback token, and then you could use that flashback token and say we've got other disguises. I've got a whole nice. range of other outfits ready to go. Like that's the way I would run that. Right? You basically get like a, a specific flashback thing of like Lucius has got the flashback new disguises. disguise, and then you can decide what those disguises are. Like I don't need to make it up on the spot. Like oh, you've got like three nobleman outfits or whatever. Yeah. You can just be like, hey, uh, oh, there's a party or a concert. We need outfits for rich people. Go into a concert, <clears> done. <throat> or like, hey, we need waiting staff for a restaurant. Like you can just cash that token and be like, yeah. I already got it. Back so, up disguises. Cool. That's useful. Um, right. Where do we stand on the Iron Storm? What do you mean? Is it still entirely usable in this? You have all of your abilities, you have all of your items, anything you have, you can use whatever you want to use. You tell me what you want to do with it. Just depends if it sets off that little magic you've got. Item. Uh, no, the, the, that, the little ID badge won't like flare nope. when you use magic and stuff like that. Nope, you guys can cast spells as normal, you can use all your abilities, you can use everything like that. It's just more like if you're getting like your magic items out on the street and things like that, there's a risk that anybody who can detect magic might see them and stuff like that. Um, Eye of the Storm, I mean, it has limited uses. You only get charges per like day and like you only get a certain number back. Yeah, it's every oh, seven days. Every seven days. So you, you, anything you use now, you're not going to get back until after this arc is done. Well, I think... And you've used one already. Have, have I? Yeah, you used... Well, actually, no, because then you travelled in on the airship. So I say, okay, you've got like whatever many charges you've got now. So 
three. Yeah, for the, three, three for this entire arc. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, yeah, okay. And also, like, well, other than the magic items that are hidden in the haversack, mm -hmm. but then I guess we could also just find a place to. I mean, your safe house, securely. Like, yeah, you can get your items out in your safe house. Yeah. And like, if you know that you're going into, like, you know, when you go to take these planar devices, for example, I'll tell you now, that's going to be a fight. Like, there's no, like, that will be an, a combat encounter. Okay. Like, so you're, that, that's so you can be like, right, let's get Starbreaker out, let's get the hound, let's get geared up and go in. And you might even want to be like, let's just ditch out disguises and just oh, yeah. ourselves. You know, yeah. Up to you. I don't know if that's something you want to do, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe towards the end. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, you can do that stuff in your safe houses. You can get magic items out and stuff like that. Yeah. You can cast uh, well, spells. Whatever you want to do. You I'm, tell me. I'm up for helping to find the students as well. Um, yeah. At least that's my initial first first move. What about Sentry, Ella? Um, I was thinking of Sentry maybe studying the Valkyrian guards, trying to find a way to infiltrate them and disrupt the warehouse yeah. supplies. Getting some progress on that secondary objective. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Probably look into how to break some shit. Like in, in terms of influencing the city? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. In that case, in fact, I'm going to put that down. So, if we basically assume that we start on the sixth day, I know that you said this was like a discussion you had before you went and rested, yeah, but yeah. really the resting, you go back, you rest, it's not a big deal. There's no like problems or anything you need to worry about. Your incognito score is, you know, you don't have any issues, is what I'm going to say. Um, the next day, you begin working on these projects. So, if I can check in, we have Quill and Nova. You're going to start making progress towards uh, the students of the Atlas yeah. Academy, rescuing, escorting the students away from Atlas Academy. Yeah. Lucius, you're going to spend a time segment getting a flashback token for costume changes and things like that. Mm -hmm. Century, you want to work towards the uh, la, 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 the Valkyrian stuff, mm -hmm. and then Ayla is going to be start working on the influence as well. Okay. Uh, you guys all do those things. You're building away the time. Um, none of these will... It takes a certain amount of time to unlock these opportunities. You you are working on those. So Ayla, you go around, you like maybe break a couple of the screens, you like tear down some posters, you maybe work a little bit with um, uh, Goliath and Fuego, who, you, again, you guys can tell me what you want them to do. Um, you you know make progress towards influence that city, but this is gonna this is a long term thing. This is gonna take you a fair bit of time. Um, Sentry, you you know how is it that you're going about this? It's like you're following them and sort of like checking them out, going and scoping out the warehouses, like posing as a worker and stuff like that. Yeah, just seeing like yeah what the yeah. patrols are like, where the, they're coming. And there's a lot in the city, right? So yeah. it's like okay, well I'll check out this district maybe this morning, and then maybe the next day you're gonna go somewhere else and check out there and that kind of stuff, right? So you're doing that, and then with Nova and Quill, it's that kind of like well, you roughly know where they are you know they're at the atlas academy the atlas academy as, Kim, as nova knows is massive there's multiple dorms there's multiple buildings are they in the dorms are they in like being kept somewhere else so you begin asking questions looking around investigating taking that time with the time time segments you sent you don't unlock any opportunities with that first time segment that you spend on the sixth day so one segment goes down but you do gain flashback token Thanks All of us, or just uh, it is a pool. I'd say Lucius has it, but it is a kind of pool right, of okay. the group. Um, um, just super quick, like, is there a lot of magic on the messenger rings? Because I'm just wondering if, like, because we've <sighs> it's not a huge enchantment, yeah, but it would probably it probably wouldn't raise an eyebrow, uh, like a passing, like yeah. if somebody was like, oh, they've got some magic on them, but it's not that yeah. big. But if it was a more close up inspection, yeah. like if you had somebody who was like actively like who are you what are you doing like scanning you and stuff like that um that might they might be like what's that ring you're wearing it's magic mm -hmm. like what does it do okay. and then they might be like oh that's expensive how did you like you know it might just lead to questions yeah. right um I, I would, it, it yeah. could be okay what would the group think because a lot of us have taken magic items off so yeah. we could possibly wear ma messenger rings you are still attuned to the items even if you take them off and hide them you are still attuned to them oh uh, okay yeah um it just means that you'd have to spend an hour reattuning to the item as part of a short rest so yeah, do we want to put messenger rings on or um, leave it? Because yeah. it's quite risky. If Otherwise, yeah, it. you are sort mm -hmm. of separating out into the city. It's not as much like when you're doing this initial kind of like um, mm -hmm. laying the groundwork yeah, part. It's, when, we it's the when you start doing mission, the missions. Yes. If you start splitting up, um, yeah. then yeah, that will become a problem. Yeah, what do you guys think? Yeah, well, maybe do it on a per mission basis. Yeah, because like if we need to have yeah. instant communication. Instant comms. Yeah, or like coordinating things like 
coordinating attacks on the yeah. Yeah. You need to teleporters. Tune every time you put it back on, right? Uh, every time you basically, when you when you put it back on, you you have to unattune from one item, attune to the messenger ring, and then you would have to do the same process okay. when you do it. Unattuning is just an action; you just choose to unattune to it. But reattuning is an hour; oh, it's no, a short okay. rest. Um, the other thing, and I'm going to say this only once, and I'm going to remind you again. I will not take actions for Goliath and Fuego unless you tell me what yeah. you want them to oh, do. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, for this first segment, mm -hmm. I imagine that they were helping Ayla. Okay. Yeah, they you were... Want them both to help Ayla on the sort of, like, influence stuff? Maybe maybe one to help you and one to one help One to help Sentry on the okay. guards, right. I think. All right, yeah, sure. so Goliath, good. you and Sentry, uh, Fuego with Sentry. Okay. All righty. So... Uh... I think I've also, like... Since we're doing this day by day, we'll also have tons of oh, I'm doing of it like segment slots. by segment. Well, yeah. I, I just mean like yeah. we're doing it For the casters. quite fast. Yeah. Um, we've got like day by day spell slots that are going to be recovered yes. relatively quickly and all of uh, these things. So yeah, like and I will and say stuff. that things like when you do these skill challenges or you go on these like, obviously the, like the more actual D&D, &D, your spells will just work as normal. Things like the skill challenges, spells, if they're a high enough level, might just be an automatic success because you're spending a resource, right? You're mm. getting rid of something you're not going to have if you need it. Um, things like the Eye of the Storm or class abilities that have limited uses and don't come back very easily may also be able to give you bonuses or like benefits. Or in terms of the, the Eye of the Storm, it might just be like, I will add a point of progress or give you a point of score or something like that. Okay. If it's a particularly cool or creative thing that you've done with a cool thing you have. Um, so if I outlined my intentions on how to discover where the students are, mm -hmm. uh, like would that help? I, I, if you wanted to spend a charge of the Eye of the Storm to be Not like, the Eye of the Storm. Oh. I, I, my, my intention was to A, locate a relatively accurate map of the Atlas Academy, mm -hmm. and then just send a arcane eye through okay. the entire place, basically. Yeah. Marking on the map as I go, like the route that I'm taking, whatever else, and uh, trying yeah. to spot them. I would Even if it takes like six hours to do or whatever. No, but um, what, I mean, the way that I would do that is you're basically speeding up your progress, right? So I would basically mean that you gain double sort of progress for the one time slot you're spending. It's you effectively have two people doing the work because you're, you're using your eye to search around while you're also doing other things. Okay. So I would basically count that as like double progress towards that thing. So is that... Um, on that note as well, so this I... is, We are now into like afternoon of day six. Mm. And I'm going to count down so it's a bit easier. I also still have that ability, one with the shadows, which means I can become invisible when I move or... Uh, until I move... Oh, wait, no. Until I'm able to... I, I'd say that that one yeah. would be more useful in, like, the active, yeah, like, yeah, actual yeah, encounters, yeah. So whereas, not, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's less of a utility thing yeah, for, like, yeah. this kind of thing. Um, but, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, so is that what you want to do for afternoon uh, segment? That's that's how I want to negotiate that situation, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to burn as many spells... Like, if, I'm, if we're doing this for three hours and Arcane Eye lasts an hour, do I burn all three spell slots? To... No, I would say uh, if you just spend the one spell slot okay. uh, because it's helping you, it's not necessarily doing it for you. Sure. Um, in that case, if I just check one thing here. Do, 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 do. Mechanics, mechanics, mechanics. Yeah, okay. So before the rest of you, um, I will say now that thanks to Quill's arcane eye, uh, you have uh, discovered the opportunity with the students at the Atlas Academy. The next step is having sort of figured out where they might be, having a map of the Atlas Academy, having spoken to the students and the professors as you're making it round. Now, what you would need to do is do a skill challenge as a whole party, which would cost one time segment for everybody, to basically be like, right, let's get ready to go and rescue them. Mm -hmm. And then it would become a mission, right? And that would be like a creative, like, okay, well, how are you going to help prepare for this thing that's coming up? And then it'll be ability checks. Um, but that's now an option. So before anybody else Ooh. spends their time segments, uh, but it will be a time segment from everybody who wants to, uh, like, all of you have to contribute to it. So... Is there also uh, differences in the time that we decide when to go into these operations? Oh, wouldn't it be interesting if, like, doing it at night makes a big difference to doing it in the day? Mm -hmm. Oh, so we could do oh. this. we could do this at the same night, potentially. Yeah. Yeah. We well, could. we are currently in second segment. Quill's so currently investigating. So that was me investigating. Yeah. And so, and you can't do that until the next one. You can't, you know, do the skill challenge for the next one. So the rest of you have a time segment to like spend on other stuff if you would like. In the afternoon, yeah. Yeah. So what is anyone else? Have doing? we discovered anything with uh, Sentry doing Valkyrie? Not yet. It's still being progressed. I might assist her in the second. Okay. Quadrant. That's what you'd like if, to do in your if second. If you want to carry on doing that. Yeah. Okay. Because I've done my 
costume flashback. Yeah, you've got a flashback point, yeah. So, Lucius, you're going to spend your sec your afternoon time on helping Sentry, like, plot out the Valkyrian patrols and, like, maybe trying to, like, look at, like, traders and be like, hey, where's, like, most of the Valkyrians getting their supplies or sending their supplies? Kind of go around asking some questions and stuff like that. All right, wicked. Um, and then Sentry, do you want to keep on top of that one as well? Yeah, I was thinking of doing um, a Commune of Nature. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> is this a, what level spell is that? Fifth level. Okay. And what, how would you use it, do you think? Um, so um, I was thinking of maybe using it to um, get information about... It says I can ask it about people, so ask if there's a set path that patrols go on, mm. see if there's a pattern to their movements. What's the rate? Is this like miles that it covers? Three miles. Okay, yeah, oh so it's God. a pretty significant part of the <laughs> yeah. city. Um, yeah, I mean, you could be like, yeah, like, you know, even more specifically, you could be like... If it's people, you could be like, are there any really powerful people from, not from Erois that like go somewhere in yeah. the city and they might be able to be like, oh yeah, they felt like, you know, the rocks and the earth and the very elements, because this is, Vorton's it's a city of elements, right? The wind itself seems to whisper and speak to you as you're talking to it with this commune. Um, yeah. It's all fine. And with that one, I do the same thing as I did with uh, Tom's Arcane Eye. It will give you additional progress, like uh, it will give you additional progress towards this thing. Okay. Is that all right? So yeah, that's what you good. want to do as well? Yeah. All righty. Uh, so with that, so that's the other thing I forgot to mention to Tom's. Whilst Tom has unlocked that student's one, if you spend more time, you'll make it easier because you're gaining mm. more information. You're lowering the DC of the skill challenge. Oh. Thanks to Sentry's efforts, you can now also do the same thing for the Valkyrian forces. You can begin to like set up ready for a mission, and that one actually has more than time than you needed. So that's already got like some extra time devoted towards it. Reminder. A new mission has appeared on the map. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like you've got to now unlock it. Yeah. It's like yeah. now we've got yeah. to do the re like the the you know the send the guys in and they're going to unlock it over twenty four hours or whatever. Nice. Um, yes, Kim. So I was wondering to help with our student situation, mm. if this was a way to help. So not just the um, arcane eye, mm. but if I could use Tiangong as uh, manifest Tiangong and then use, I'm trying to find it, but that ability where basically they go out and seek while I'm kind of blinded. Um, we did it when we were in it with Starbane and Zarkira. So what I would say with that is like, you're not really saving yourself time. Because the Arcane Eyes, Quill can use it whilst he's doing things at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because you would be blinded, it wouldn't be any different to you going out and doing the searching, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I just uh, wonder if, because... Mm, and the other thing I was going to say as well is, don't feel like you have to come up with like create like use all your spells and craft stuff just to get to this point you're yeah. still gonna have to make skill checks yeah. you're still gonna be going in to do stuff I, I was just so this is just if you want to get extra progress towards I things. was thinking the progress I would want to mm. make oh sh uh, not shadow Mortis. but my idea was that to get Tiangong into the cells to communicate with the students that are locked up to try and okay. be like hey, get ready stuff. like you know can Tiangong like move through walls and stuff because I, I think that they just count as like just a really trying to don't think he does I don't think they do no, no. Um, so it wouldn't really be I, you could do it it just can, won't give if, you any sort of benefit I think it's, it's that thing of like so the stand if I can get to within 30 feet then I can manifest so this them. is going to be something more for so when you're actually when doing, we're it. Actually doing yeah. it okay. this isn't going to help you in the sort of like preparing yeah. stage in which case, then, if Quill is doing, I don't his... think you you don't have to think too hard about this unlocking yeah, phase as okay. well. Like it doesn't have to be like a okay. big thing. <laughs> I'm throwing. No, it's, it's more. I don't want you guys to be like, oh, I've got to yeah, like, you yeah. know, there's going to be a lot more stuff going on. So can I help by like, I don't know, like knocking out any cameras in the area to like, you know, yeah. like so that when we try and do a mission for this bit, you don't even need to tell me what you're doing. You can just be like, I want to help Quill and advance that. I'm going to help Quill and advance that shit. Yeah, yeah. The next bit, like, you'll need to be like, okay, this more is how I'm going to interact detail. it. This yeah. one can just be like, I advance this objective, and I'm like, cool, note that down, and we figure that out. Well, right? unless we're using like an item or a spell. Or yes, whatever. unless you want to do that and gain like extra or do something cool yeah. or something like that, then absolutely you can do that. Like cool. you can, you can do it. It's just more. I don't want you to feel you have to do that. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I, I like. I the, just want to like make it as, as easy as possible. So we've got Lucius helping Valkyrian with Sentry. Uh, Nova and Quill are still working on the students. Ayla. Um, I think I want to try and. Form a yeah. Yeah. No. Um, I want to try and with either Fuego or probably with Fuego is mm. try and figure out if anyone's heard anything about the council members that are missing. Okay. So like kind of start working on that start one. Start working on that, and sure. if if Fuego can have Take Fuego with you. 
Yeah, if he could have, like, the conversations, what I'm thinking is Ayla can maybe, like, I don't know if using survival, but kind of track in a way that's like, okay, if their movements were like this, yeah. then I would That'll be the think. next stage for this one. It's just right. it's okay. just advancing the progress. Do you want so with this, Fuego would probably turn around and be like, well, yeah, I mean you can come with me, like you and Goli if you and Goliath if you and Goliath are both with me, like that's a you're both very good enforcers. Like you guys can basically be the muscle yeah. and he's like the talker, right? He's yeah, like that. Right. He and you're like nice. and, and he ends up taking you to some shady parts of the fire district and he's like yeah, you're gonna you're gonna tell me about this. He's like, you you hear anything about this? And then you kind of you, you find like some Weasley dude. He's like, I don't know anything. He's like, well, my friends think you do. And then like Goliath's just like, <laughs> and like then he like looks over and you're at the other end of the alleyway, like blocking this guy guy from escaping. He's like, you know, you do that kind of thing. Yeah. Um. Do you want cool. so do you want to take both if you take both of them with Ayla to help with sure, the council stuff? Sure. Make some yeah. progress on council. I can think sure. what Goliath make could have done. Some progress. Intimidate. That intimidate works. Is gonna fill up your afternoon time segment of this day. So now you have a choice, because you have a couple of these that you could now actually unlock by doing skill challenges. Yeah. You have the Valkyrian uh, supplies or the students, uh, rescue the students. So the... But this would require a time slot from all y'all. Yeah. yeah. This uh, is basically and like that, and that would thing. then allow us to then do, the, do mission, the mission, right? Yes, 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 um, yes, yes. yes, yes. <clears throat> So, so we're on now until the evening, and then there's a night phase. Yes. Yeah. Night is generally where you sleep, but you can be like, nope, we're gonna we're gonna do something today, and then we're gonna rest tomorrow morning instead. You yeah, can, we can, you can delay it. Yeah, so we can. Uh, but if you really if you're like, our body clock. if you go through like eight <laughs> segments without sleeping, I'm gonna be like, con saves, yeah. exhaustion, that yeah, kind of stuff, yeah. right? Um, so or like your hit dice expenditure will get higher and stuff. Yeah, the Valkyrian uh, presence and the supply lines and stuff. They mentioned that would make things easier. Uh, um, yes, yeah, so it will make things like if you have combat encounters easier and stuff like that. Right. It might, and it, it might help in other ways weapons. as well, but like, mm. yeah, you're basically like stopping them from being able to send as much military power. Would we um, know yeah. things like, you know, the students, are they locked behind Valkyrian guards? Like... Yeah, well, in fact, actually, because you've got to this stage now, um, I can tell, I think I can actually give you more information mm. on these because I did, I wrote this all down. So. I'll do the students one. I'll do the Valkyrian one first because it's the first on my list. So, having spent time researching this, uh, thanks to Sentry and Lucius kind of putting in the effort to go and investigate this and the nature spirits that you commune with Sentry, you've learned a couple of things about this opportunity. Uh, the Valkyrian forces have a number of barracks and storehouses in the city, mainly converted warehouses or buildings given to them by citizens. A large barracks and storehouse is on the upper section of the city near the Air District Sky Yard, where one of the planetary transports docks. The area is fenced off and patrolled by exclusively Valkyrian forces working for Shansara. The storehouses contain magitic equipment, weapons, food supplies, and other essentials. The planetary transport, one of their two airships, is also docked nearby and is one of the major military assets of the forces in the city. Finally, a number of senior Valkyrian commanders and officers are stationed in the barracks here. If they are killed, captured, captured, or otherwise incapacitated, it would be uh, a pretty significant uh, blow to their chain of command. Completing these objectives, uh, this objective, sorry, will reduce the amount of Valkyrian forces, forces present in major battles, as well as reduce their presence in the city, which will earn you progress towards city influence. Uh, and then, for the count of the isolated students, you've learned the following. A group of talented students at Atlas Academy have been isolated and locked in their dorms because of their recent discoveries involving planar magic um, in the transport system. The Atlas Academy is guarded and patrolled by both Ganassi and Valkyrian troops, but it is technically still open for public services. The students are being held in one of the dorms, A Building, attached to the main academy itself. Their doors, windows, and other exits have been magically sealed and are watched by guards at all times. Food, water, and supplies are brought to them daily, and they are not being harmed or mistreated. The students would need to be released from their dorms and then brought to a safe house in a nearby district about one hour away from the academy. The students have absolutely no skills in stealth or combat and are extremely vulnerable. Completing this objective will provide useful information and resources for disabling the planar transport devices and will earn you four score for that objective. I am just imagining 
uh, Norfair. Like, we're all stood around a war table, and she's just like, Sentry, thanks to your efforts in the air district, come we have discovered right. this, this, and this. Yeah, that's, that is effectively what is happening. Like, oh. Norfair probably would come and visit you. Mm. She would, like, you would gather all your resources. And this is your own research. Like, this is like Sentry providing that information. But Norfair probably sums it up based on the reports that you've given her over the last couple of hours, right? Um, she sums it up. Um, the other thing, and you don't know this yet, uh, you won't know what these are. Each of these events, when you actually do the mission, there's a chance that you'll have combat encounters. There's a chance yep. you can avoid them. There also may be complications. Yep. If you roll a one yep. during that mission, I will roll on a little table. And I will see. Wait, during happens. the mission? Mm -hmm. If you roll a, a one. Complications table. Uh, like a one on what? Like any roll, even if it's a combat? Yeah. I mean, I probably wouldn't do it for like attack rolls, right? Ability okay. checks and stuff like that. If you roll like, if you're like, we're stealthing, oops, one, I'll be like, complication time. And a complication could be good for you guys. Yeah. It might be like, a suddenly there's a storm yeah. and now it's easier to sneak around, but you also can't, you know, oh. it's harder to see what's going on. You're also wet and you get a cold. Yeah. Oh, I love mechanics. Yeah. I love it. I know you do. I know you do, my boy. Um, but that's it. So those are those two yes. missions. Um, so could things overlap where like, say, if we did the Valkyrian thing first mm -hmm. and got some like Valkyrian outfits or passes. That would that be a would different thing. Us. So so when we're doing this mission, you are specifically destroying the supplies or, you know, whatever it else it is. You won't have time to go in and get the re the outfits and things like that. That would be you spending time Another to get, say, like a, a flashback token or like a, yeah, spending time elsewhere. <laughs> like this, these missions are like, no, we've got to go and do this. Yeah. And that's not to railroad you guys. It's just to make it so that it's a bit simpler mm -hmm. um, rather yeah. than we try to do like a million things at once. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's meant to be that like you've got to pick and choose because like the time is limited, right? You, yeah. you only have windows of opportunity to do this. This. Part of this is represented by like Sentry and Lucius have probably said, we know when this warehouse, this this airship dock is going to be the least guarded. This is the only time we can do it. That time is abstract, like that can be whenever, but it means that you won't have time to be like, well, let's just go in here and do this. Like when you're there, you're going to have to do your mission and go. Mm -hmm. Like that's the idea of it, right? Cool. Yeah. Well, I think. I think that one first makes sense to well, take out some of the forces. Yeah, but my thinking is if we only currently have one backup outfit, like the Valkyrian one is going to put our current disguises massively at risk. But um, we have them. We yeah. do have a backup, yeah, but... So, how about we use our current disguises to rescue the students? Mm -hmm. And then, because that's quite high profile, and we're entering an Atlas Academy, I assume it's got scrying or technological advances in it that, yeah, that Atlas is... Would you say it it's leans closer? It's, it's in Because it's named after Atlas. Ah, there you go. So we'll put it like right by the statue then. The Atlas statue. Yeah, so the statue, for those at home, sorry, the statue... Um, <laughs> I have to put it there for myself. The statue in the Earth Quarter well, is called and Atlas, <laughs> and that's why it's called the Atlas, Atlas Academy, Academy, because okay. it was an Earth Ganassi that founded it. Okay, yes. Cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. We have to yeah. go to AA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I'm thinking. and then sorry the and then the sky dock is going to be sort of on the upper part over here. Uh, sky in the air district. In the air district, but it's in the upper city. Um. Okay. Right. Uh, so yes, if we use our current disguises to claim the students back, and then we swap to different disguises. Okay. After For the soldiers. That, because I believe. Uh, uh, you also have K. Like we could Lucius switch. has got like specifically Ganassi like noble disguises, right? Mm -hmm. You still have K. K is around. K is a resource that you can go to and be like, "Hey, we need new outfits." It'll just take them time yeah. to build them for you. Okay. But they won't be able to do things like Valkyrian soldiers or Ganassi's like specific stuff. They've got generic outfits that they can provide for you, like what you're wearing now. I think having like, yeah, commoners, basically. I think the backup outfit is a good thing to use after the Valkyrian attack. Because that will put us on the radar. Uh, but and then will again, I maybe need we to should scan to get into especially, Atlas. Especially because you're a professor, it could, your current disguise works really well because you're a professor and oh no, I don't get you in. I think these current disguises mm -hmm. work best for like, Atlas. They're but... Elemental Mountain players. Yeah. I think that our current disguises work best for the academy. However, I do think that it would have been beneficial to take out the sky dock before we went to the academy because it takes out more weapons. This also, I'll point out like something that I mentioned. 
um, at the Air Dock, it's exclusively Valkyrian forces. Right. At the Atlas Academy, it's Ganassi and Valkyrian. Mm -hmm. Taking out the Sky Dock will only limit limit Valkyrian forces. The Ganassi forces will always be present in the city. Yeah. Okay. So that's something to keep in mind, because like certain like missions and things might be more focused on the Valkyrian stuff, and, and you know that that's going to reduce their, their military power, right? I apologize if You'll I'm... You'll still definitely get a benefit, it's just... I apologize if I'm gaming this, but the influence bar... <laughs> <laughs> sure. Is that constantly... Like, the efforts that we make to increase our influence... This is, is the city constantly... influence. Yeah, the uh, the counter... Yeah, the objective. Sure, yeah, your main, one of your main objectives. Is that constantly being re rebuffed by the Valkyrian presence consistently? Because if it is... No. I will, I will be honest and say it is not. Okay. It is, it is like a passive score you're increasing. Right. And when you reach certain thresholds, it has an effect. So they're not removing our previous efforts, okay? So No, but they're, you could do things that could can do. But they are dampening it. They are, <laughs> it's like you're, it's like that's already set, like they've set their influence. Yeah. And you're, by doing other things like taking out this thing, you're increasing it and you need to get your influence above theirs. Sure. But if you do things like, we blew up the Atlas Academy. <laughs> your influence will go. Yeah. Same as your incognito score as and well. Like, no chance of us winning a culture victory. No. That is the way to think if about you it. Blew up the Atlas Academy. <laughs> but that's also the thing. Is like you can, in theory, save the city without the city being on your side. It will just be harder. Yeah. yeah. You might be able to save the city without ever having a single fight if you can get the entire city on your side. I'd like that one. Um, I think you just let it go. I think we should. <laughs> Go on. No. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm torn. I, I I can't decide between. The other thing I'll say as well, like unlocking these missions. Once you've unlocked them, you don't have to do them straight away. Yeah, but then we're in a night segment. That's it. Very. Yeah. That's exactly that. Then that's you the can perfect use the night and be like sneaky time. For sneakies. Did you expect us to do a mission first day? <laughs> no. Yeah. Who yeah, does things did. in the daytime? <laughs> <laughs> I specifically designed it that you, all, you could have been like, well, let's all six or five of us do this mission. Yeah, that's well, true. That unlocks it then. Um, yeah, no, I'm torn either way. So, uh, my storm chaser vote, I, I vote two hands on both missions. Wow. wow. So useful. I vote students, because I think our current disguises fit the students student Students currently win. Really well. I'll track it for you on your vote. Well, there's three three votes for students. No. Those are my two hands. No. no. You have one vote votes. for each and then one vote for thingy. Okay. So, yeah. currently, two votes for student, <laughs> one vote for Valkyrie. I'll go for students. All right, three for, three for students. I think um, both are going to raise our profile and alertness for trying to find Seeker Rebellion. But I agree, I can't. Only if you fail. Only if you fail. <laughs> we could. Just don't fail, forehead. I feel like destruction of an entire sky dock and warehouse is going to be very visible and audible. Maybe something further down, closer to. Rescuing Incognito, silent, stealthy. We could do that All tonight. But also, I don't think the general populace know about the students. They just think the students are isolating because they're ill. Yeah. So they don't know that We need to give them a chance yeah. to speak their voice. Yeah. Speak a their trickle of truth come out. mouth words. Yeah, use their <laughs> tongue. Maybe Taylor is yet to vote. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, but I want you to vote. I would have blown up the, the weapons first. Two to four. <laughs> Students win. Uh, if this is a vote, if this is a democracy, that's, that's everyone gets a say. Um, democracy, man. Before he goes, like, do I get a say? Yeah. Do I? Yeah, you do. I want to blow stuff up. Okay, that's right. And, yeah. And, 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 yeah. Goliath. Well, Goliath. What do you think? Two point one. Uh, yeah. If you actually ask Goliath, he kind of like has a really long thing. Like he thinks. Um, and before he was like, come on, man, I want to blow stuff up. He's like, it's dangerous. Ganassi have fought a bunch of the guards. They're not that much. They got they've got some special ops. They're dangerous. Oh, but those those planar bastards. They can do stuff I've never even thought of. I'm worried. Don't know. Can't call it. Okay. <laughs> that was helpful. Yeah. Oh. Well, no. To be fair, I was. The same. I'm a thug, not a thinker. So am I. That's I'm why a, I was going to blow thinker, stuff I'm up. <laughs> um. Oh, I'm a careful thug. A cug. So it is that uh, with if if uh yeah, he's unable to vote, which makes it three to four. <laughs> it wouldn't have swayed the vote anyway. No. no. Unless Norfolk gets a vote. Are you seriously trying no, to No, I and no. Tornado and Bolt. And Tornado and Bolt, yeah. Uh, tornado and Bolt aren't here. 
Uh, no fear will come by to help coordinate, but yeah. Let's go outside and ask the guards what they think. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask the whole of Wharton Sword. Yeah. yeah, sure. All right, get one of those screens. The, you tell me what you want to do, team. Tell me what you want to do. I think. Students. Students. All right, well, before we get to go on the mission, y'all have got to unlock it. Uh, so, the way it's going to work. So, uh, let me this set This is where set. we fuck up. Yep. <laughs> yeah, no. Set set this up. Rolls in. There's five of us. So. Yeah, that doesn't <laughs> usually the, do well, this would be <laughs> This would be the sort of... Not nighttime, but evening. So we're kind of looking at kind of like six to like you know ten p.m., eleven p.m. kind of thing. Uh, you will need to basically prepare, like make the plan and like do the preparations to get these students out. This is where like you guys basically can tell me, and I can give you some suggestions. Like if you're really struggling, if you're like I really don't know what I could do here, ask me and I'll give you some ideas. But it's like you tell me what you think you would be doing to help get this mission ready. And this isn't necessarily going to be things that you can then use when you're on the mission. This is more like a way to like you use your ability score, use your abilities and spells to set this whole thing up to give you that opportunity to go in and rescue them, right? So it's it's what in other editions of D&D we call a skill challenge. It's basically I don't want to I'm not going to tell you the details more than that, but it's using abilities, using your spells, using just creative ideas. It could just be like I want to try something that isn't on my character sheet. I want to try this wacky idea and I'll figure something out. But it's think about like this is a, a mission you're about to go on. So for some examples, it could be like Ayla, for example, might be like, well, I'm gonna um, scout out the area around the Atlas Academy and I wanna figure out the best alleyways that we can use to get out, plan our exit strategy. I wanna like map the area. And I'd be like, okay, cool. That sounds like, I would call that a survival check, right? Literally and then, exactly uh, what I was going to say to you. That's, it's because it's it's I know. It's because I know. One brain cell. Um, so that's like, that's a perfect example, right? Of like some, the kind of thing. So let, let's just do that one. Let's use that one as, as an example, right? If that was what you were going to do anyway, Katie. Yeah, I was going to try and find it because if we have to take vulnerable people for like an hour to a Yeah, patch, like then... planning the route out. And yeah. this is, this fits Ayla's backstory as like a wilderness wanderer and like Surviving. a tracker yeah. and things like that. So this is going to be a survival check, and you did spend a bit more time on this, so the DC is slightly lower. I'm not going to tell you what the DCs and stuff are. Please roll well. Please roll well. Okay, that is 21. 21, okay. I'm not going to say anything just yet. Um, Ayla, you spend the time... Uh, oh dear. You spend the time, yeah, and you think you get a pretty good lay of the land. Right, you spend the time, you walk around the sort of area around the Earth District, and you're pretty sure you've got a pretty good lay of the land. It is tiring, even for yourself, so that's going to be one hit dice I'd like you to mark off. Oh, okay. um, if you go to short rest but just click don't uh, automatically heal, it should just spend let you spend the hit dice, Yeah. Um, I think. Um, so just mark off one hit dice, but that's that's all it's going to cost you. Um, Do we know how many students there are and where they are roughly in the building? You definitely know roughly where they are. I'm not going to tell you because it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, in terms of how many students, uh, there is a team of five. Oh, five. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but you don't know any. I would say that could be a thing you do now, right? Like you know that there are students. Yeah, he lowered his chair. You know that there are students. You know there's five of them, but you don't know the condition of them. You don't know what kind of like. You know, you don't know who they are, if they have any difficulties, or like. Some you don't know anything. Caps. Yeah, it could be. Um, so that could be something that Nova could do. Like you could use your time to try and figure that out um, and get a better information about who the students are so that you can plan better. Yeah, well, another idea I had was like, I have gloves of thievery and I was wondering like if I could practice picking locks. Like, sure. Yeah. They said it was magically sealed. Yeah, it's magical. But they could, they might still very well be physically locked doors. But as would well. that help? Cause uh, like... Yeah, I'd say that would be a sleight of hand check. You would be making a sleight of hand check so as your skill. Can I use ability. my gloves of thievery? Because gloves of thievery. Yes. Invisible and worn. While wearing them, you gain a plus five bonus to sleight of hand checks uh, made to pick locks. Yep. Do you, are you proficient in thieves' tools? No. Right. So this would just be your dex plus the plus five from the gloves. Not my sleight of hand though, because my sleight of hand is plus eight as well. Uh, that's probably already factoring in your gloves then, if you've got them equipped. It would D and D Beyond does it all automatically because I don't know how you would get plus five if you're not proficient in sleight. Mm, that is. Yeah. Um, so it would be a plus eight to the roll total. 
but you're not proficient in thieves tools, so yeah, you're like yeah. you're not really sure what you're doing, but the gloves are kind of helping you, they're kind of guiding you. But I'd say you could definitely, yeah, practice lock picking, and that would be your kind of prep for this mission. Um, it would be a slight of hand check. I'm nervous. Well, oh, no, no need to be nervous. Remember, failure is just a cool story. 13 plus eight. So 21. Okay. All right. I had a plus seven for so, mine as well. So, similar thing, spend one hit dice for me, but you spend some time, you, you get some good practice in, and you're feeling pretty confident about if you need to tackle some locked doors. You know, Mathematics. You don't know what kind of locks they use, they might be using tougher locks, but yeah, you, you feel fairly confident. If only that it could handle corridors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, who, anyone got an idea of what they'd like to do? All right, take it away, Trot. I think Lucius, a.k.a. Azure. Azure would work with Stream okay. to prepare some packages of calming mm. or things that will like help. medical supplies, basically. Medical supplies mm. and also just some remedies and things to, like, keep them calm Yeah. whilst we escort them out. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, I mean, for me, that I would make that a medicine check because it would be teaching you how to apply them and how to use them. Yeah. Um, that would be, yeah, but I think that's a great idea. Okay. It's a great way of preparing for the mission. Plus one. Eleven. So twelve total or eleven yeah. total? Eleven. Eleven. Eleven total. You spend some time. You are not. Um, you are not trained, and it takes a lot of time. Like you know, stream prepares these little packets and gives you these things, but it's exhausting and mentally draining to like prepare all of this we'll stuff. Mess up some of the. Things and yeah, you have to redo them. You have to redo them, and it's just quite <laughs> mentally tiring. Uh, I think that is going to cost you, Lucius. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> God, where's my little thing? Uh, yeah, I would say that's going to cost you three hit dice. Uh, as you are, it's very mentally tra like draining. You are up late, like spending hours practicing this. You don't really get a chance to rest or, or you know, alleviate it. Um, you're not particularly skilled at it. Um, and your confidence is just a bit knocked as well. Uh, but you do prepare it. Like you, you still aid towards the unlocking. Um, at least you think so. <laughs> uh, all right. So we have Sentry and uh, Quill to go, and then if you'd like, I can also have uh, Fuego and Goliath try and help you. They, but it's your choice if you want them to, because they could add more failures. So it's it's you choose if you want them to. You guys all <laughs> have to contribute, yeah. but you can choose to have those guys. See and if you're struggling for an idea, like, again, like it doesn't wow. have to be a skill check. You could be like, I want to use this spell, and that's why I was trying to say to Kim earlier, right? Like, this is the point where, like, if you use a, the right spell. I might just be like, yeah, that's an automatic success. Or like, it might give you a bonus or it might help you, right? Fireball. As opposed teleport. to like the planning stuff. Yeah. I mean, like using a teleport spell, like might be a super useful thing. Um, that might be more useful in the mission, but like, yeah. Could be like, or using like um, scrying or pass wall to like, I don't you know, have that anymore. Things. I know you do. Took it away. <laughs> Took mm. away dimension door as well. Do you have anything? Uh, I, I, I've got a couple of things. Yeah, I've got one. Go on. Um, I was thinking sentry. of having sentry go gather like bits of wood and scrap and just make rudimentary shields and swords to give to the students just to defend themselves okay. just in case. Yeah, I mean, would you want to make them or would you want to like buy them? Because you've got money. You could go and buy a bunch of like swords from like a weaponsmith or something like that. Um, or or you could try and craft them. Like you absolutely could try and do that. I might try and craft them just because I don't want to... <laughs> Ask why you, you want to have, a, yeah, five you have swords. yeah okay, yeah. okay you don't want to you don't want to trace no. you want to be like no I'm untraceable weapons untraceable. <laughs> uh, sure I think Prism what shanks. that would be <laughs> are you proficient in any sort of like crafting tools like blacksmith tools or anything like that damn it Man. Max tools crafting tools use uh, with a use uh, true nobody ever looks at their tool proficiencies I have none that's why yeah. It's normally at the bottom where like languages and stuff are on D and D Beyond, on the main front page. Yeah, I have none though. I like yeah, all the languages, no tools. Every language, haven't you? Mm. I know them all. <laughs> I know them all. Traits. No. Uh, it's it, I think if you're in the features and traits, so if you go into your main pan page, flute. pan flute. But no, no, like tool proficiencies or anything. But like that. martial flute. weapons. No, yeah, I would say if it had you any points. So what that's going to be then is just <laughs> intelligence <laughs> check. Oh. Because this is crafting, oh, crafting no. knowledge of how to do that's stuff. The worst one for century. Mm. Sure century is a protector, flutes. not a maker. <laughs> oh, Pied Piper stuff. This is the decision that's been made. 
13. 13, so is that total or is that yeah, with the mic? 13 total. So 13 total. Uh, very similar to Lucius, you scrape your hands, even though you're, you know, a guardian, you know, doesn't matter, like, you still feel pain and it still, like, damages things. It takes you time. The results aren't the best. It kind of knocks your confidence a bit. Uh, that's going to be three hit dice to mark off, please. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, I will let you know if this when is... You try I won't say any more until uh, you guys are all done. Uh, so what is Quill doing? Um, so I think I would communicate my plan on the actual mission itself and my intentions there um, is to etherealness myself and all of the students um, at ninth level. But that would be when you're actually there. When, when I'm there. Yeah. Um, so that's my intention and basically asking is that something I should do? Because then I and all of the students are safely escorting out of the place because we're in the ethereal plane. However, if there is a fight going on, I won't be there. Um, so, what do you think about that? I guess the main concern is they're really locking down magic, right? Yeah. Mm, I mean, they had magically they had magical seals on like the windows and doors, but there was nothing. I mean, know, as a Vorton saw as a whole. No, there's magic all the, all over the place. It's more that like if right. you guys were like pretending to be common citizens walking around with like an artifact book of the god of knowledge <laughs> and somebody was like detect magic whoa what the fuck like, like <laughs> you know that's that's the kind of shit right like yeah. magic is people are casting spells it's in not the city like valkyrian lockdown. no no and even valkyrians they use magic tech all the time like magic's right. still abundant here in it's which just case. it'd be weird if you guys were pretending to be commoners and were using powerful magic okay but if you're like in a mission and you're like you know quills hidden he can totally cast that spell be fine. Um, yeah, then, I mean, it, it lasts for eight hours. Great. Like, in theory, I'm just going to put this out there. Quill could solo that mission if he could get into the students and ethereal them I mean, out. Like, I, I could also theoretically etherealness myself in at level seven, etherealness them everyone out at level nine. Sure could. Um, Obviously, if there was anything to go wrong, he'd be on his own. But if that went uh, without a hitch, you guys would all be free to go and do other things. You'd be on the. Uh, the old messenger ring, in case anything does. Does messenger ring work if I'm in the ethereal plane? It would not. Oh, nice. I guess it's sending also wouldn't work. It would, but there's a 5% chance it doesn't. Ah, 5%. That's 5%. Can you imagine if you could give Arcane Eye to someone else? They could be like your eye in the sky person yeah. in the safe house and telling you like, round the corner to the left. But if you could well, there's like spells you can get like telepathic bomb where you all have telepathy. I mean, you would have Quill using the arcane eye and oh, then relaying that to you. That would be great. I've been using that spell a ton in Nights of Evening Star where a telepathic bond and it's super good. I mean, I don't know what what class restrictions arcane eye has, but theoretically, I suppose we could buy a spell scroll. Yeah, we could try and craft one. Um, if someone did want to do that. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, I if the spell's guy. not on the spell list, then they have to make a check to use it. Um, it'd be a DC 14 check to use it. At the same time, I could cast Etherealness at 8th level. No, I can't. This won't work, because then we'll be leaving two people behind in the Atlas Academy. Who That's are the dumb. two best students? <laughs> <laughs> but what you're saying is you could take some, you could take some of us in. If I take some of us in... At, at ninth you level, you have to leave them there. Yeah, at ninth level, etherealness works on me and five people. Oh, so he oh. can get him and the students out. So you'd be basically Dang. be like swapping the students for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See ya. Which I mean is a, an effective way of doing it, but least, like you then have to get your own way out. I think it does. The wording's a little weird. So when you cast a spell using a spell slot of eighth level or higher, you can target up to three willing cre creatures, including me, for each. Oh, including me oh. for each slot above seventh. So does so. Seventh level. So at seventh level, it's just it's you. Just me. Uh, eighth eighth level, level, it's you and two more and because two more. it's three, including you, right? But then is it ninth level an additional three or an additional it one? Sounds like it's an additional three. So for a total of at ninth level, me and two, five people. I will check it. Five x. You you have a thing because I also still need you to. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what Sorry, you uh, in terms of... In terms uh, of if but that's go, fine, because that's a good plan. I, I, it's a very it's smart really plan. plan yeah. In terms of if we don't Quill solo, I suppose... Um, Quill I could. I was thinking either uh, just before the operation begins, I could again do that arcane eye uh, scouting thing to locate guards, currently populated mm -hmm. areas, things like that, places for us to avoid. Mm -hmm when we do go in there. Uh, so I suppose that might give us like some help on stealth or whatever. 
Alternatively, another way of drawing people out is insight greed. <laughs> what? Mm, <laughs> Where, that's a fun spell. Um, What's that one do? Just to clarify as well on the Ethereanus, it would be you and five others at ninth level. Ooh. Oh, so it does increase oh, by wow. three. Yeah. Yeah, the wording is, inc is uh, you can target up to three willing creatures, including you for each slot above seventh. So the way to do that is, is three at eight, uh, six at nine. Because it's three. Six Ooh. at nine. Yeah, it includes nice. you. So. Um, Blaze it. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's fucking rad. Right, before we get into the plans Sorry. of actually yeah. doing it, what are you doing for this this pre-phase? <laughs> we've Sorry. unlocked the mission. Because um, you might not even be able to do the mission tonight because... Depending on roles, you might oh, fail true. at this plan. Might fail. Yeah, <laughs> I made all the students little hats. <laughs> little silky hats. Ooh, nice. Make them calm. And Sentry's like, I've made them swords and shields. And it's like a tiny shield like this and like a rusty piece of wood <laughs> with a nail in it. Yeah, like, yeah. And, yeah. Rock and then like her hands are like covered in like marks. <laughs> a bit like... It's like Homer building the, the shell. Why does it mind look like that? <laughs> What's the illness you can get if you get cut by like rusty rust and tetanus? Tetanus. Yeah. Uh, don't distract Tom. Real. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm not going to do the insight greed thing. What does that do? So I, I like, hold a 50 yeah. GP emerald, and I, whoever I'm like holding this to, they have a wisdom save every turn, and if they fail it, they're like, "This is the greatest thing I've ever fucking seen in my life." <laughs> <laughs> and they, and they just, yeah, they just, yeah, they just like follow it. me again. Useful for when you're doing the mission. That's hilarious. But my plan was like, I could literally just walk into the place, like, hey guys, fucking look at this. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, just put it in a room somewhere. Yeah, they'll play the plan, pan, and then yeah. lead them. Yeah. <laughs> he dances I mean, through the yeah, Atlas Academy. Wait, 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 the, point. the Atlas Academy is massive. It's yeah. like a UK university. But Putting a thing in one room is not going to clear the entire <laughs> oh, no, thing. I was it's gonna... not like a, a pipe bomb in Left 4 Dead. Like, <laughs> like the... Blah, 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 blah. You know, it's not that. No, he does a little... It's a, cool, it's a very useful spell for the right situation. <laughs> he does a nice little jig through the whole of the academy and picks them all up. A lot of the students would be pretty smart, you know, because this is the Atlas yeah, Academy. This wisdom is the creme de la creme. <laughs> My wisdom save is fucking nuts. Um, what are you doing for the planning? <laughs> I'm lots of cool ideas right. for the thing. Look, I just want to firstly just commend you on the amazing comparison. Don't commend me. Make <laughs> the, tell me the plan. The pipe bomb in Elf for Dead was, in, was inspired. <laughs> anyway, I intend to just before the mission begins. Um, no. No, 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 no. no <laughs> my intention was before this begins. This is the no, like, no, no, no. hours this is, before. This is, this is what I'm They're doing. all doing like preparation. What are you preparing? This is like the last thing when everyone is done with their shit. Got yeah. a fucking I'm, hour long track here, my dude. <laughs> I'm arcane eyeing around the place to find pockets of guards and populated areas within okay. the Atlas Academy. What level is arcane eye? Fourth? Uh, it is fourth. Right. Can you make a perception check for me, which I know you're going to be. <laughs> Please roll a one. Please roll a one. Just because you're a smug little boy. Oh, yes! 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 You... The prophecy! Mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get wrecked! That's so... Get wrecked! So painfully delicious. Oh. Oh. The perfect dice roll. Do we want a PVZ on that? Like... That's, a, that's a 19. <laughs> It is a 19, but it is a natural one. I know. And although there are no automatic fails on it, you've got the consequences I chart. The consequences I love evil. to do a no but and a yes and. So you get a 19. <laughs> that definitely works. Okay. Oh my god. Wrecked your smug little kid. 19. I mean, I you are a very smug about perception. I would say <laughs> if you could mark off two hit dice for me, please. Uh, Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can't believe. <laughs> and because of that natural one, there will be a complication. <laughs> that you won't know until the mission is in progress. Hell yes, thank you. I love, I love uh, consequences. I, yes, it makes it more interesting. Yes, I love that the I dice gods it. heard. I, it was literally, they heard me. No. I was like, I love it. it you were a little smug for, and then, then I, just, I watched it. I was like, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I looked at that dice. I was like, I think we all were like, it's just. Whoa. I knew smug. it. For I'm, some I'm, reason, I'm as soon as you smug. said it, I was like, I still passed. <laughs> well, did you? You don't know if you passed. I, I mean, no. you, I succeeded my. Did you? Did I not? Is I, I, I did. Said. 
Uh, I've not said, and I've not said if anybody <laughs> succeeded or failed. Uh, okay. No, I, I said that you you have done, but that doesn't mean that you've succeeded on the overall task. You do what okay. you wanted to do. Yeah. You send the arcane eye around. You find some guard positions and things like that. Um, but using the arcane eye for so long, but also you begin to realize that the Atlas Academy is very heavily guarded, and not just by normal soldiers. Uh, you notice that there are Valkyrian, very magical looking Valkyrian soldiers there. Um, okay. And that adds an element of stress. You actually have to at one point end the Arcane Eye early because you see one of them like, like almost like it can sense something around and you are like, ah. shut it down. Um, so, okay. Hmm. So, 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 so before I reveal, because I'm not going to tell you if you succeeded or failed, <laughs> you have made five checks. I'll yeah. tell you that you need four successes, but you still have Goliath and Fuego who can act if you want them to. <laughs> what are these hats you use as Fuego? Can you make better hats? <laughs> <laughs> he can certainly try if you'd like him to. But, and and I am, obviously, <laughs> I am being an asshole and making it in a funny voice. This is a genuinely, like, I'm not... I'm not going to reveal whether you are close to it or not. Oh, yeah, you might yeah, have already I'm succeeded. Um, I feel like I've failed. I'm wondering if we could have, like, Goliath and Fuego cause a distraction on or near the campus grounds. Like, uh, for the planning part, or this is during the event oh. itself. It, I'm saying that this planning. for this planning section, you could have them attempt to assist you uh, if you want to try and, like, bump up your chances to succeed. But there is a chance they might fail and make things worse. Could Fuego perhaps help Sentry with the absolutely. weaponry? Absolutely, absolutely he can. If you'd weaponry. like him to try and craft something, um, he can absolutely try and do that. I mean, he'd probably make the thing of like, I could just go buy some, but uh, yeah. But but then you uh, know that, yeah, there's a chance that you might get discovered. Get oh, yeah, you discovered. Just bought some. <laughs> no, no <laughs> but I already so, said that, but the that idea so is that, like, yeah, Sentry's right. Yeah. If you buy them, there's a... There's a there's it's a, like yeah. walking into a gun shop and, and, and being like, can I have all these guns thing. and all this armor? It's like, Rob why? Rob serial numbers on the sword. Oh, that works <laughs> every <laughs> time. It'd be like Terminator and kill the gun guy, no problem. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Right. Would you like Goliath or Fuego to do anything? I think Fuego helping Sentry. Alrighty. And I'll think so crafting weapons for these students so they can try and defend themselves if necessary. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you want him to focus on weapons or focus on like shields and armor? Shields and armor. Okay. So like kind of like little pieces of like homemade armor and stuff. Yeah, like, like wooden panels that <coughs> can rope onto arms and stuff. Okie dokie. Let me just bring Spins. up his yeah, uh, stat block. So little tin ball. Ready hands. to go. I want Goliath to assault the Valkyrian ship on his own. <laughs> <laughs> like tracks, just like just runs through the, the air like two knives. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you're finally. <laughs> I'm free. <laughs> uh, he is not proficient in tools, but he's a decent intelligence. Do you remember when we were talking about sending in the ethereal plane? Yeah. I laughed and said, "What's five percent? That's five percent." Rolling a one on a d20. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that was going to be a one. As soon as oh, Mark yeah. said, please let it be a one, I was like, it's going to be a fun. I felt a little shiver Honestly, that the yeah. dice were watching. Honestly, just yeah. so delicious. <laughs> like a tasty focaccia. Oh, so good. Um, so, <laughs> it is in the process of Fuego going to find, like, supplies, because, like, Sentry had to go and find wood and scrap metal and things like that. Uh, Fuego, being Fuego, the punk, aggressive, brash one that he is, ends up getting into a fight oh, um, with is. a bunch of like scrappers and gangsters. That brings in some guards. He gets like pulled away for like a few hours. He gets beaten up. He gets roughed up, um, and he doesn't really make any progress on making oh, any armor and things like that. There you go. Um, and it costs him a number of hit dice because he comes back pretty beaten up. He's got like a black eye. He's got bloody nose. Um, oh, nursing so some brief ribs. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like this is just his hit dice, right? He's not yeah. like actual hit points. Can, but you like probably like help him and stuff like that. Can stream yeah. help him out? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what she's there for. But uh, he's lost some hit dice, and uh, you know he can choose to get that back if he wants to. Uh, unfortunately, at this stage, uh, you have not succeeded. Uh, oh, what about you Goliath? One, you could, if you would like. Well, I've already said it now, but I will allow you. <laughs> he, I did. I did say, like, I will think of something for Goliath. All right. Oh, sorry. I missed that. All right. All right. I missed Fuego. that. I, could then... he do something to do with the safe house that's closer to the Atlas Academy in preparation for students getting there? Maybe. Absolutely, he could. What bingo, you, bango, bosh. What would you like him to do? Make with contact regards? with them and get okay. them to make put, sure um, that. Yeah. So, pers yeah. like a persuasion check from Goliath. Or like make contact <laughs> with them and like, like be like, there's students coming. We need to. Yeah. So like you know, speak to them and help? work with them and persuade them to In get their help. Intimidate. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. On this, on fellow seekers. Mm -hmm. 
No, that's fine. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Mm. Try, do you have any ideas? I just feel like it would be a contact. It would have been like a good a... Fuego one. Hey, Maybe. heads up. Like, we got... You, you want him to use Intimidate? No. Like, I just want him to talk to them. So yeah, I, I, there has persuasion? to be a check. There has to be a check involved, so it would be persuasion. Check. Yeah, there has to be a check. It's a skill challenge. Do my portents work for these? Yeah. Absolutely. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. I said you could use all your abilities. You're a twat. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I did say to you when you rolled it, I said portent. Well, my perception check. Am I rolling I a persuasion port- check for Goliath? I didn't think um, I was going to roll one. Yeah, but I said to you, <laughs> I, I, I said you would. You I know. I you should have gone. I should have known. Porn. <laughs> <laughs> next <laughs> time. Pretty next pretty time wrong. we will do, I will. Could it be survival? Because he's trying to, like, you know, make sure the roots are clear and, Ayla's like... already done that. Oh. I'd say that you can't do the same thing again. Like, mm-hmm. if it was a different way of using survival, maybe, but Ayla's already done, like, a check in the roots and stuff like that. Can Goliath use his strength? Yes. To fluff... The pillows <laughs> of the safety. I really the thought you were going to have a good idea because I was like, Trot, I think Trot's got a good idea. He's got a look of a man who's like, I've got something, but I don't want to ruin the moment. And then you were like, fluff the pillows. So I was like, okay. They need to be to fluffy. How do we use Goliath? Would Would you like me to Strong, give you a hint? Yeah. yeah. Would you like a hint? Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm here for. Um, Goliath's main strengths are fighting, he's good at athletics, he's not bad at perception and survival. Um, and he also is pretty good at intimidating. He is a former thug. He's like a, a, He's like a, a thug enforcer. There are guards around the streets and patrols. If it was me, I would send him to base. Or like, if you ask him, he's like, if it was up to me, I'd just basically go in and make sure that there's nobody who's going to give us trouble on the way. Like, take care of the, take care of any mm. beggars, take care of any. Oh, guards. I was thinking like go up to all it, the Atlas Academy nerds and just be like, don't fucking go to. The I mean, there'd probably tonight. there'd probably be an element of that. He probably would go and find some people and be like, why are you fucking loitering around here? Go away. Like, he'd probably <laughs> basically clear the clear way. Clear the yeah. roots, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. But he'd be doing that in a thuggish, like, violent way, um, using either Might athletics have, or, inti- yeah. or intimidation, which is the same role for him. Intimidation. So. Intimidation. All righty. It's the last time I'm going to help. All right. With that, one. <laughs> 23. Oh. Uh, he comes back, and <laughs> before he goes, like, like Dude, yeah. yeah, how'd you get on? <laughs> it's just like, yeah, it's fine. Cleared the way. <laughs> Shouldn't have any problem with any uh, local local ruffians. Got rid, of, got rid of a couple of the uh, Ganassi guards, just the weaker ones. Told them to, uh, that they'd be in trouble if they were sticking around tonight. Um, so it should be clear. Uh, which means you pull it into just barely a success. Oh, which nice. means that, that that mission is now unlocked, which means you can do it did, whenever you want to do it. Did like, I succeed? Huh? Did I succeed? I'm not telling you. No. Because then that would tell you what the DC was. And I don't want to tell you that. I think I succeeded. We had to get four successes, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they probably came from me, Kim. Wait, actually. Wait, what yeah. was everyone's roles? I can't remember. Tom and Move on, Tom. Move on. I need to know. Mark, let's go. Sure. Well, it, it, this is up to you now, right? So that was your uh, that was your third time slot for this day. Failure, yeah. failure. So it is now nighttime. It is midnight. The moon. Yeah, there is no moon. Also. The stars are obscured. The cradle <laughs> nice is catch. obscured by clouds. <laughs> nice catch. Uh, I forget my own world sometimes. The that cradle is, is obscured by clouds. Uh, is a dark evening. Um, it is late, you could sleep, you could go on a mission, you could work on other things. It is your call. Mission time. Mission, mission. Time. I want yeah. to do this. Sleep when right. we're dead. Permission to do the mission. Permission to do the mission. So this is, uh, so now it's just a case of like, who's going? Like, you don't all have oh, yeah. to go, you can choose. You want to sell the bud? <laughs> you could, in theory, be like, Tom, Quill, take it away. Um, How would that work in in regards to, to like these guys during this operation though? Like they would have a time segment to do what they want. They could sleep. They could do more work on other things. We're just gonna go have a nap. Because it turned my fun. mission operation less into a, an encounter and more into just a couple of skill checks. So mm, maybe we'll find out. Because I, I mean, I don't want to you know have a three hour session of just me. <laughs> uh, it won't be three hours. No, I, I know. Tell but, you that now. Yeah. Um, but uh, I mean, we could also be like, yeah, everyone go grab a drink and me and Tom will do something. Or it might just be a couple of skill checks. We don't know. So okay. it's, but it's also like Nova might be like, no, I want to go, I yeah. want to help, like. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. I'm... I've also got stuff like being invisible and stuff like that and teleport, True. so. Oh, I but there was the guy that strength. identified the arcane eye, which is invisible. Mm. Uh, yeah, but I can. Ethereal is a different plane. Ethere- uh, yeah, I don't so think could be True Sight works in Ethereal plane. Ah, uh, yes, it does. It True does, Sight yeah. can see in Ethereal oh, yeah, creatures, yes. Yeah, because we had that walls. with the headless. Yes, we did. Yep. 
Yeah. Which you totally remember. I remember that. Mm. That was in Horizon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I, I, that is a plan. At the very least, I think, if we stealth in, all of us, mm. ethereal, etherealing them out of the place is just a You've good just way of getting You've said the words, us stealth in. Well? Which I think is... Just asking for a repeat of Look, not the an entire hour ago, last arc. Not an hour ago, there was something I couldn't see. And I'm shaken to my core. Yeah, wow. <laughs> something evaded my vision. I just need you to be aware of that. I'm going in. I'm a broken man. I, be <laughs> I believe in you, Quill, but I'll be there in case you need backup. Sure. What is everyone else... Got all these swords and shields for the kiddos in case they need help. Not well, Australian. For yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the kiddos. The guardians. And when when Century Point's over, I mean, it is just a pile of garbage. Wow. <laughs> I love Century to pieces, but it is a pile. And then you also look at like Lucius's like medic bag, and it's like the bandages have all spilled out, and he's not noticed. I think I'm just They're all like. <laughs> I mean, no, like, I think I fucked up. So you're, the things that you did to plan, like, they, they're not going to, like, yeah, like, you can still go. You just, yeah, just don't want you to think that. You're going to have extra, like, trips. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, Why are we are doing dirty, espionage? Like, <laughs> this is, this you just got, like, a bottle of lemonade in there. <laughs> yeah. It's got, like, a glass bottle of lemonade. They might be thirsty. How is it? <laughs> Put the bit drinky. <laughs> Yeah, I've totally fucked up. Why is there a magazine in here? But it's fine. But yeah, you don't, the, the, what you did in the plan stage doesn't have to reflect what you do in the mission. Like, it's just going to be like... I will, Lucius will, however, say, I feel like I, I won't benefit that much going in. I think the more of us there are on the ground trying to get those people out, the more likely mm. we are to be detected. And I am not the most subtle of the people. I look at Sentry. <laughs> The swords and shields. <laughs> they all fall over. No, <laughs> bang, 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 bang. One of them like unties, breaks. <laughs> just There's like woodworm in them, and it's just yeah. disintegrates before you. <laughs> Sawdust on the floor. You don't actually think Sentry has ever made anything. No. <laughs> you tried your best. I, re I did. I really tried. You did. But it was shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. True, I wouldn't give them to my own guards. <laughs> I mean, like, well, no, it was like a 12. They weren't like the worst thing. No, it like, I, was, I was being mean. Um, it's more, it's more your minus one intelligence that though. makes me think. Yeah, it definitely wouldn't and be. Tetanus. Wouldn't be very useful, I don't think. No. Um, unfortunately. Um, nice okay. gesture. Here you go. So, we have Quill. We have Nova. No Lucius. Ayla Sentry. Yes, I'll just no. just do a test roll on stealth. I got, I just wasted a nat 20. Test roll. I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think that's safe. That's the only way you would have succeeded that. Yep. <laughs> All right. I'm tempted to, but I'm also tempted to be on the verge of the academy where the exit route is so that I can You would still people. be in the encounter, but yeah, yeah you can but choose I would, if you're you want to go juggernaut the, yeah, it. At, at I would quite like, because I've scouted that route, so... Yeah. I'm the one who knows yeah. that, and yeah. I want to be yeah. there to make sure yeah. that they take the right route. When I say that, like, if Lucius and Sentry don't want to go, the idea is that they, they stay in the South House and they yeah. do other things. I think you can go, useful. but not go into the academy. You can be like, I'm going to wait by the exit, and then if Pretty anybody's much. chasing you, I'm, I'll whack them. Because you yeah. can yes. do invisibility <laughs> stuff. You can go ethereal. You I'm can big and clunky. Sort of. I'm, I'm not bad at stealth, but I'm also a risk, yeah. and I'm better suited out here to yeah. Yeah, back yeah. you guys up. Yeah, yeah, back up. All right. Would you like either Fuego or Goliath to go with you? Um, I think Goliath maybe to help with Ayla, like assist we Ayla, Scott, especially because he knows the way to the safe house. Uh, you all know the way to the safe house. Okay. You don't need to worry about that. You, you go. I've well, scouted the, the route. Yeah, oh, yeah, you can take him with you if you want another bruiser. Or we could send him to do one of the other things. Yeah. We could send him to find out more about the council members. Yeah, I think that's that's that yeah. was yeah. a better use yeah. of his time probably. If I'm ethereal ling all the ling. students, I'm basically bamfing him out of the Atlas Academy and straight into the Hopefully. safe house. Hopefully. With nothing in between for us except Hopefully. ethereal. And the um, consequence. And the con and consequences and my own dark thoughts. Um not what these two do. I don't oh, know. What they do. No. 
It's probably a good thing you don't know. Carry on before you get distracted. Um, um, yeah, so... I'm off course. No, that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, you could keep Goliath here. The, the, uh, just because, again, like if you check out the skill blocks, if you want... Fuego is specifically like an expert, so he has like proficiency in thieves tools, he's got good sleight of hand, so if you want a more roguey kind of character to go with you... I beat up. Yeah, I mean, he's, yeah but he's, pa he's yeah, patched but he's up. Yeah, but he's fine. He's really tired, but he's what are you laughing at? Jeez, God. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It happened when I said a theory thing. <laughs> it wasn't. Was it that? No. No, okay. You did something. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it, more that I just want you guys to be aware. I don't want you to be like, oh, I didn't realize that he was like, you know, a thiefy kind of character. He, Maybe we should take Fuego. You don't have to. Do what? Don't want to make, I don't want to impose it on you. But it's just, but I make, be lots. aware that he's, uh, he's also got an ability called um, Helpful, which is he can give you, he can use the help action at range and it gives you like a better boost. So he's like a good support guy. He's not yeah. super good in a fight, but he's pretty good at like helping other people. Just or from 30 feet away. Oh, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. You got it. Got it. Like, you just <laughs> turn it to the left. <laughs> yeah. um, um, decision time. Yeah, I, I, I think. I, take, yeah. take him or? Yes. I, 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 no, I. <sighs> What do you want to do? I think, you asking Fuego? I think... <laughs> yeah, I want to go. I think we should take Ayla, Quill, Nova, Fuego, Goliath, Sentry, and Lucius do something else, like <laughs> Just look for the council members. <laughs> sure. yeah. 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 Fuego's like, yeah, I want to go. Hell yeah. Rescue rescue those... Who are we rescuing? Students. Students. Sure. In the Atlas Academy. Do we get to we do we get to fight people? Do we get to break stuff? Uh, it's badly. Not. Nice. Okay, uh, but I will it. be quiet. Good. I'm not. Yeah, uh, it's just you know. first part stealthy. Yeah, yeah. sure. I'm good. At, I'm pretty good at being quiet. Hopefully, the entire part stealthy. Mm. Sure. All right. Let's do it. All right. Nice. Uh, okay. Then before we wrap up, because I think we're nearly out pretty of much time. There, yeah. Pretty much there. So, what's going to happen next time? Sentry, Lucius, and Goliath. You guys wanted to work on the council stuff. Is that the plan? Because like, they made that decision for you. I don't know if you agreed with that, but I know that Goliath's going on to do that. Yes, kids Sounds are good. too busy giggling. Into <laughs> you can work on whatever but seems what best to you guys. Yeah. Yeah, huh? yeah I think start making headway <laughs> into the council, yeah. like looking where those guys. So Again, I could potentially utilize these noble outfits to get in with mm, some circles. people that have contacts Ooh. and networks. If you, if you want to spend your flashback token, yeah, you'll get like, uh, yeah, it will give you a, a benefit to doing this. If you want to spend it now, I won't to... spend it now. Okay. Would that be, could like be useful in the future? Influencing the city if you're going out to talk, to start talking to people, maybe. Just finding, like nobles. Finding, uh, yeah, I guess it clues. could be twofold, but I don't want to do two things in one. No, quarter. you can't do two. You got to choose one. So, so Goliath's gonna go sort like investigate the council a bit further. What's Sentry gonna do? I'll come Goliath. Mm -hmm. All right, so two on that, and then Lucius, are you gonna go with them, or do you want to do city influence? Stuff? Get schmoozing. I might start schmooze. schmoozing. You want to schmooze? All right. I think it's good for that. Lucius to do. Go to yeah. the theater district. You know how to do the. Okie dokie. Know which fork is the what? Marking that down. So when we do our next session, I know that that has no, already been done. Sure. So we're gonna Peace. mark off this <laughs> nighttime section. But a knife. And then when this admission is completed, that will be. For the next day done, that will be five days. Feels like a productive day so far. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With that is going to be the end of today's episode. We've set the mechanics. Yeah. You guys have got a feel for it now. You kind of know how it works. I'm nervous. Hopefully, the next one we'll get through. Make it a bit speedier. Get through a couple more of these. Yeah, yeah. We'll get. Um, yeah, we'll we got smash them out. It's a, yeah. yeah. Basically, playing it like a brand new game system. Yeah. In yes. A sense. Yeah. Yes. I've, um, I've made things. <laughs> Very complicated for us. No, I mean, it, no, it's, it's, it's not complicated. It's, cool. it just, it's, it's just us right. trying to decide things. Testing yeah. the... And as always, you know, it's okay. Don't worry about making the right decisions. Just make the decisions your characters make. I don't want my better. city to blow up. Make the decisions your character Nobody would make, does. and because the dice will fuck you over anyway. Yeah, well, <laughs> just remember that. Yeah. Well, uh, sorry, what was the complication still. again? You don't know yet. I still don't know what the complication is. Oh, in fact, roll a d3 for me, and I'll <gasps> figure it out. I won't d3. tell you, but I, I'll know. Three. Yeah, uh, d6, sorry. So well, it's the same, same dice. Four, I rolled on a four on a d6, so that's, what, two on a d3? Okay. <laughs> Mark, can you give me a bro before you sign us out? Bro! Thank you. It's bro. the end of today's high rollers, bro. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, bro. Love you, bro. We'll see you next time. Bro. Bro! 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 See ya! Bro! Bro, 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 bro. Uh, hey, thanks so much for joining us. Unfortunately, this is actually pre-recorded, so what? we can't respond. What? Got you messages. I swear I was here. <laughs>
But chump. Would, I would love for you to keep what? What are you going to say? I just called him a chump. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Pranked. Uh, <laughs> hey, but if you did donate during this stream, or if you would like to donate now, uh, we're going to do like a big reading through them when we get back live, when yes. I get back from my vacation and stuff. Um, so please do send a message because we do love knowing so like all of your lovely supports and stuff like that. The merit, like, if I say holiday, they'll be like, what but holiday? But you always say that we're the premier British D&D group, and now yeah. here you are being like, oh, vacation, use your, bro. Use the right words. They God. won't know. Bro. Holiday. They can figure it out. Vacation. Holiday. He's going on his holly bobs. Bro. Holly bobs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, that's it. Uh, we don't really have anything else to say except for go buy the merch. If go you buy the merch. Up the brand new merch. Do, uh, do that now. Uh, uh, and, yeah, uh, if you want to support us further, then check us out on uh, Patreon. Patreon. Early access people. to podcast episodes. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, more good stuff. Yeah. Um, and all that good and stuff. Yeah, Check merch. out the Discord. Donate. But that's it. Take care. Love you. We love you. Bye, bye. 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 See you next bye. Week.